Okay, I think we're here. Let me get my camera settings up. Uh. Hang on, guys. Let me fix everything. Just a minute. Got to save all these settings. It looks too dark. It's rainy today, so, um, yeah. I don't know. I think the, that might have looked better. I don't know. We'll leave it there for a minute. Okay. All right, baby, you're going to have to get down, honey. All righty. Let's get down. All right, let's move everything out of the way. All right. Streamiversary. Hi guys, hang on. <laughs> I didn't know if I was going to make it get here or not. But we made it. Let's zoom in a little. There we go. All righty. And there's a shadow. Oh, that's that box. Let me move this box. I'm working on all kinds of projects. Been working for, for a while this morning. Oh. All right, let me catch my breath. Hi, guys. Happy Monday. Happy stream anniversary. Hi, Ian. Oh, there's Terry. Can you all hear me okay? Hopefully, we will not have any more issues this morning. Thanks. Thanks. Hey, Melody. Hope you slept well. Well, now it's almost time for you to go <laughs> back to bed. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I hope you sleep well tonight. Let's put it that way. All right. Let's see here. Um, let's find my soundboard here. Uh, we have our routine, don't we? We have our routine down. <laughs> mm. So, yeah. So, thanks, everybody, for being here. Hi, all my mods. Hi. <laughs> so, let me get my phone out of the way here. Let me turn the volume down in case it rings or get messages, which I usually do. Uh, thanks, Terry. I know. I can't believe it. Eight years of streaming, four years uh, on YouTube. So, yeah. Two and a half years. Yeah. So we that's how long we've been streaming is eight years. Four, well, we did years and years on Ustream, and then I started uploading to YouTube. So I've been uploading to YouTube for um, like four years and been live streaming on YouTube since June. So, yeah, we have over a thousand videos and I think around 22,000 subbies. So thanks, everybody. So excited. So I have Happy Mail. I've got giveaways and I've got a couple. We can pick which kind of project you want, but I kind of was leaning toward. Uh, let me put something here. I was kind of leaning toward. Um, uh, an abandoned places or abandoned castle one of those does this look too uh blue because it looks okay but uh, y'all you know, know me and my lighting issues there we go does that look a little better so yeah so hi everybody popping in karen darla cat um gloria becca everybody coming in kenny glory i said hi gloria <laughs> Yay for abandoning anything. Yeah. Uh, been here a few months, but I can't remember life without you now. Oh, thanks, Louise. It's a great group, isn't it? Not just my stream, but everybody that streams, you know, from our group. It's just a great group. It really is. 
Um, yeah, yeah, everybody give me a thumbs up. Yeah, <laughs> to help me celebrate. Thanks, guys. Yeah, give me a thumbs up to help celebrate. Thanks, Diane. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Andrea. So, yeah. So here's my here's my cranberry juice. So should we give a toast to eight more years? <laughs> so, well, you know, our usual, if you're watching the show, if you're watching the recording, we usually spend about, I don't know, about 20 minutes or so just chatting, saying good morning, uh, getting things set up, deciding what we're going to do if we don't know. Um, hi, Miro. Thank you, Linda. Thanks, Lisa, Linda. Thanks, every Hi, Eileen. Yeah, <laughs> yours hasn't been together eight years. I know. Thanks, Eileen, our enabler elf. And I got the cats in here, as you can see. So, um, yeah, the little baby girl here, she's, she's, uh, and they got, they both have um, oil spots on their backs from going under my cart. No, babe, you can't have the cord. Nope, you can't have the cord. Um, <laughs> they want the no, no, you might have to go out if you don't leave the cords alone. No, we got to leave the cords alone, baby girl. They were under my car in the garage, they both got they both got <laughs> oil spots on their back. No, you're so you just you just can't leave those cords alone, can you, girl? <laughs> they love the cords, they'll just get and plug us in a minute. <laughs> No, no, I'm going to, I think I have to walk them out. Uh, I don't mind. They can walk all over stuff when I'm not streaming, but they love the camera cords and the microphone cords. <laughs> they just can't leave them alone. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Hi, Melody. Other That's other Melody there. That's Melody. Yeah, that's another Melody. No, no. Okay. Y'all got to go out. All right. Reaching up for the cords now. Okay, come on. Oh, I love them in here when I'm not streaming, but when I'm streaming, mm, 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 mm. so hi Janet, Linda, hi Nick and Tina. Anybody else I miss? So yeah, eight years of streaming. So yeah. <clears throat> Let's see. I'm going to move my camera over this way a little closer to my closer to my computer here. Hang on. There we go. Nope, nope. Hang on, guys. I gotta readjust until I get it straight. There we go. There we go. Thanks, guys. So, how was everybody's weekend? Hi, Teresa. How was everybody's weekend? Did y'all get any? Thanks, Janet. Um, hi, Joyce. Um, did y'all get any art done this weekend? Hi, Catherine. Thank you. Thanks for all the little cakes and everything, guys. <laughs> so sweet. Uh, <laughs> Uh, oh, well, nice to have you, New York. Is that New York, California or NICA? <laughs> it could be, it could go either way. Uh, hi, Melinda. So thanks, everybody. Yeah, it's been eight years of streaming. And uh, I've loved every minute of it, you know. Yeah. Hi, Julie. Yep. Happy birthday to us. That's right. Anniversary to us. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Caroline. Okay, Caroline. Welcome. Glad you could be here live. Tanya. Um, Ma Madi. Madi. Karen Kamor, I got all new planners set up for next year. Good for you. Now, do you actually plan in them, uh, Karen? Do you actually plan in the planners? Hi, Jess. Or do you use them for other other things? What do you do? You actually plan? Hi, Queen Sassy Deb. Ah, thanks, guys. Yeah, I set up a fifty-six pin pan watercolor set. Oh, awesome! Did, did you uh, 
video it, Ian? Are you going to do a video with it on the setup? <clears throat> no internet watching on phone. Okay, Pacola. Oh, no. Oh no, Mediacom is down in three states. We've had uh we've had ours go down uh spectrum. We've had spectrum go down for like it's usually like at three o'clock in the morning, twelve to three to six, you know, in that area. Sometimes I think that it just goes down so they can do maintenance. I think the longest ours has been down is six hours. So yeah, I just go on my phone and follow all track the track the uh information on my phone. You know, you can go on their websites and see. So I'm glad you're able to stop in on your phone, Pacola. Sorry, my draw drawing. We don't all promote, but feel free to join. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, Jana's talking to somebody. Yeah, um, we ask that you not spam. You know, if you're a regular here, we don't mind you talking about your your shops or your channels or things, but you know, we don't really like it when people just come in just to spam. But yeah, hang out. Just hang out with us. We'll find you. Anybody can just follow your little name to the end and the three dots and go to your channel. You do plan to use planners. You have four kids. Oh, well, yeah, I guess you do need to plan, don't you, Karen? <laughs> four kids. Yeah. Thank you. Great. Hi, Elaine. Hi, Tanya. Anybody else I'm missing? Um, we just have rain. We're, 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 we're supposed to have rain for the next four days. Well, three to four days. I'm not sure exactly. But it's just drizzly and rainy. It's our typical Atlanta winters. So, yeah. Thank you, Esther. Thank you. Thanks for being here. Darla, who else am I missing? Thanks, everybody. So it's been, you know, eight years. We, we try to keep it positive around here and uh, keep all drama off the channel. Drama goes on other social media. Drama doesn't go on the art shows. <laughs> that should be everybody's rule, actually. No drama on anybody's channel. That would that would be nice, right? Oh, <laughs> thanks for the cakes and the pies, Jess. <laughs> I just saw that pop by. Um, yeah, all drama shouldn't be on our art channels. That's just should be everybody's rule. But you know, at least it's mine. <laughs> so hi, Shirley. That's right. <laughs> drama free zone. That's right. Hi, Melinda. I know I'm probably missing some people popping in. I've been working on some things this morning already. Um, I'm working on my, I, I started writing, actually writing my full-on story, my monk's mail. I started that yesterday, so I started some monk sketches. Um, so I got that going on. Uh, I think it's going to just be an illustrated story, like, just like, a story with a few illustrations because it's really, I really want it to be about the story. Although I want some art in it. It's not going to be like, it's just going to have some illustrations that way I can concentrate more on the story. So I'm working on that. I got, I got a full notebook just for that. <laughs> Y'all know me and my notebook. Um, then I'm working on, uh, Oh, I did pull out some abandoned books. We're going to do some happy mail. I, I was working on some new art discs. I'm doing I'm doing some comic art discs. So I have them in different stages. So if y'all, while we're chatting for a minute, I'll show you how I'm working on these. So I'll show a couple of those. Y'all know my art discs. I don't have, these aren't varnished or anything. Um, they're, they're, these aren't done, but these these are my the last of that batch of, I think it was 50. I, maybe it was 60. I did a batch of 50 or 60. And this is all I have left from that batch. I've, given, I've, I've sent out the rest as um, thank yous for the people that support the channel. And so these, I thought I would try. And if this works, it could do with all different kinds of things, right? It doesn't have to just be comics, but um, yeah. 
So what I do, let me just show you real quick. I have like vintage, they're just books about comics. They're not comic books, although I guess you could use comic books, but they're books about comics. So what I've done, I've cut out and I just use a template. Where's the template? Here it is. Um, I just use a template. This thing, bless its heart. Look, I've taped it and it's so old. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for, yeah, thanks for the, um, you like the comic discs? Oh, uh, well, Janet, I've already sent your birthday present out. So sorry, no, I can still send you one, Janet. But your, your birthday went out on Saturday, Janet. So you might get it by, well, there's no mail today. Today's the official holiday for Veterans Day. So make sure y'all think of that. Yesterday was the 11th, which is usually the, that's the official Veterans Day is the 11th of November, but it's celebrated on that, the following Monday. So there's no mail today. Oh, I've done that before, Jean. I have accidentally thumbs down thinking, you know, I'm just clicking and think, oh, and then I have to go back and take it off. And yeah, I've done it before too, Jean. To tell you the truth, guys, I mean, I love my thumbs up. Give me all the thumbs up you want because it helps promote the channel. But if I get thumbs down, I don't care. <laughs> I just really, I really just don't care. Um, so, you know, but thanks for changing it, Jean. <laughs> She nodded off. Her head fell down and hit the hit the keyboard and she gave me a thumbs down accidentally. <laughs> You're going to steal I Okay, do it, Janet. Do it. And it, like I said, it doesn't have to be comics. It can be anything. But anyway, so I have these, uh, you know, books about comics, right? And so I just cut circles out. So what I did is just cut the circles. I'll show you the whole process because I'm not done. I have to add glitter. I have to paint the backs. Um, this one, I haven't even painted the black. So let me just take you step by step through it. So what I do while we're just chatting. So I have some... <laughs> Uh, I know, Jean. You don't have to, Jean. You you didn't even have to say that. I totally know. All right, so I cut these circles out, and I just used this one. Is the how big is this? Three inch, three and a half, three and a half inch. Uh, this one, I think the last batch I made was the three inch. This one I'm using the three and a half, just to make it. You know, I don't know why, just more comic showing or more. You know, it's, it, we're, we can make it up, right? And so I cut the circles out. I just use the template and then freehand cut them out. It doesn't have to be that perfect because I'm going to spackle the edges. Right? Remember, guys, if y'all are talking to me, put it in caps. Um, okay. So then what I did is I have some cardstock here. It's just, uh, what is it? Uh, six, no, it's 90, 90 weight. Uh, anyway, 60 or 90, whatever, you know, 240, 260, whatever it takes. <laughs> Mr. Mom. <laughs> anyway, so I, I get two, I cut two at a time because I want a, a double thickness. So let me just show you one here. So, <clears throat> so I just, I have two sheets together. I, I think this feels about like a 60 weight. Um, let's see, where's my scissors? Janet did some beautiful discs. I love. Them. Yeah, I didn't see them made. I saw them on a thumbnail, so I know she's making some discs too. Y'all make some discs; they're fun. Make them in different sizes, right? So that batch that I made of fifty, or I don't even remember how many it was. However many it was that I made, they I I gave all. I mean, all but those what nine or ten that I have left giving them all away so well I, I give them to the people that are supporting the channel so thanks guys all right so now i got a disc here did i make it big enough let's see here yeah all right so then i take glue stick it's really they're really easy guys i mean seriously you, you can make them pretty quick it's how much work you want to put on them like the other ones i did my mixed media collage on them so they take you know they took a little longer but I do add a little extra, extra touch here. I'll show you. All right. So now I just take and glue the two discs together just to give it, you know, and just use thicker paper if you want instead of gluing two together. Then your disc on top. Okay. And then I spackle it. So I just use this dap crackle, crackle shot or dap spackle. And always make sure you put the lid on really tight. I, I actually, I actually step on it with my heel 
to make sure that I put that lid on tight. Because if you do not, if you get any, if you leave this out or if the lid is not really secure, this will dry out. Now, you'll get up the next morning. It'll be, you know, hard as a rock. Then I just use a little palette knife. I have a little metal palette knife here. And all I do is take um, this and I just kind of just run the spackle. If it gets too thick, just, you know, knock it back. Pull, you know, pull up a little bit less. And so I just run it, run a kind of a, I don't want to call it a bead, a bead of it, you know, all the way around. And you can make this thicker on my on my mixed media collage ones. I made it thicker. I made a thicker rim, but I don't want to lose much of the image here. So I'm trying to do it pretty thin, right? So uh, so that I don't lose much of the image. So just run a little bit around. And you really need to leave this for some hours. These I've left had left overnight. So just leave it like, you know, leave it overnight or, well, I would say maybe three or four hours. Um, but anyway, so you just leave that. And then again, make sure this, it, you think it's on there tight, but it's not. So I'm going to put it on the floor and stand on it. <clears throat> Did you hear that? <laughs> I really, I mean, I really make sure that lid's on tight. Okay, then clean off my palette knife a little here. And I'll set this one aside to dry. So let's put that, where can I put that where it can dry? Uh, put that up there. Okay, because these are all dry. All right, so then what I did is I took uh, some of the words, just some, I found some, you know, like how you do your found poetry. You find just all kinds of poetry and stuff uh, from uh, random book words. Well, what I did is I just took, you know, like now what? You could just cut out the now what and put that on here. So these, none of these, um, like to the hall mansion, <laughs> you know, I just glued those on there. Introspection. <laughs> I just put my own words on there some extra ones okay then after i did that let's see we got a glare there let's move that back we're still with the tour okay so then after i did that so you can see i have lots of them in different stages right let's move the let's put these on top here get this out of the way Then what I did is I painted these this morning and that's where, that's what I was doing. I, I was working about, I don't know, an hour and a half or so before I came on. And um, then I took, there might be just enough black paint left in there to finish this one. So let's go ahead. I, I'm going to zoom in a little. And as soon as I do this, it'll be, um, it's already nine. So then we'll do, I got happy mail and, um, and we'll do some giveaways today. All kinds of stuff. Fun day. Fun Monday. Fun Monday. Okay. So then, like I said, I made a real thin rim on this one as opposed to these other ones. And these are not done. They just have some of the collage. But I haven't done all the painty bits yet. You know, painting the watch hands, painting, um, you know, waterfalls or stars or anything like that. I haven't done all that in there, but just so you can see the difference in how much spackle I put on it. So this one has a lot more spackle. And then I painted this one with the blue uh, glitter. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to paint them black and then I'm going to add a little bit of silver. Um, no, you know what? I should probably use the silver. I got some gl silver glitter. Here it is. So this maybe. Let's try this. Maybe some of this glitter. Some of this maybe. Because I just want some uh, sparkle on top of the black. So we'll try that. It's got a dent in it. Huh? Okay. All right. So hi, Sammy. Hi, Kimberly. Let me stop a second and say hi to all the new people coming in. Um, yeah. So today is uh, the beginning. Well, I, I'm going to do it this weekend next. Eight years of uh, stream anniversary, 
It's eight years of streaming, four years on YouTube. So I've only been on YouTube four years. Thank you, Jean, for making me go on YouTube. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So this week and next week, I'm going to do some giveaways. I am going to do, for those that can't be here live, I don't do this often because it's a lot of work, but I'm going to do a next week, next week, I'm going to do a leave a comment giveaway where if you leave a comment, I will draw a name and we'll do some, you know, maybe an Amazon gift card or something like that. We'll do that next week. Um, because next week's Thanksgiving. I can't believe next Thursday's Thanksgiving for us. I mean, it's already been passed in Canada. Um, thank you, Kathy. And hi, everybody. Hi, Kat. Anybody else popping in? So today I have a book giveaway. I know I wasn't going to do another book giveaway, but let me, I have a little bit of black left in here. And just let me put a little on there. Um, but because it's my my uh, eight year stream anniversary, I thought, well, we'll give we'll give away some extras this month. But normally I give away one book a month, and we already gave a book away last week. But we're gonna give we're gonna do some more. We're gonna do more giveaways this this week and next. Hi Judy. So if you can't be here live, and I will put it in the description next week. It'll probably be next Monday is what I'll probably do. So next Monday, I'll probably put in the description to leave a comment on that video. Don't do it today. It won't count. It won't count if you do it today. So next week, I'll, I'll uh, set it up so that if you leave a comment, I'll do a random drawing from everybody that leaves a comment. Okay. And I always uh, think later, why did I do that? It was so much work. But, you know, hey, uh, y'all are worth it. <laughs> um, let's see, I have a baby wipe here. <laughs> Hi, Faithful. And Faithful, you're uh, Inktober. All, I think all but a couple of envelopes of Happy Mail have gone out. Went went to the post office Saturday. Hubster has a new work schedule, so he can't just go on the spur of the moment like he could before and go like every other day or something like that. So at least for now, I think the schedule changes again the 1st of December. So we'll see how that works. But for now, I'm, I'm usually only making it to the post office once a week. I, I'm just going on Saturday. So if you, you know, if we do some giveaways and some book giveaways and whatnot during the week, it won't go out till the next Saturday. So just saying, it'll go out on the, it'll go out on the following Saturday, at least for now. And I am still getting my post office box set up. Haven't had a chance to do that yet. There's so much like two or three pages of paperwork you got to fill out. It's like, oh, all this paperwork. And I don't know why it's so complicated to get a P.O. box. But anyway, so I'm getting that set up so that uh, I'll be able just to leave my address in the um, YouTube description box. But for now, just hang loose. If, I, if you don't have my address, hang loose. Hi, G. So there we go. So just a little bit of a border. Oh, I see a little spot right there. A little bit of a border around with black. And the back, so let me show you what I do with that. Okay, clean that brush. So what I do, I, I won't do this one because it's still wet. So let's set that one aside. <clears throat> um... So what I do, I'll use up the rest of this paint with the back. Let me get another brush, a bigger brush. All right. So then what I do, I paint. Well, here you can see I paint it black. So I just take one, and I missed a couple spots on that one. I need to touch up a couple of these. All right. So let's take one here. And I just paint the back, paint the whole thing back, black on the back. And then I sign it in silver. I usually sign it in silver with some stars, shooting star and stuff on it, and then um, varnish it. So let me see if I can varnish. Well, no, I got to put the sparkle on first. Hang on, guys. Let's see if we can try to get one completed here. Okay, just a little bit of... All right. 
And I usually don't do the back here on the back until after I varnish. Because if you get varnish on the back, it's going to leave a shiny spot. So I usually wait to do the varnish after. I mean, do the paint the backs black after the varnish is dry so that it doesn't get anything on the back. But I want to show you all how it looks, you know, completed. Okay. So now, let's the brush. All right. Let me get my heat gun and let's dry this one. Missing. Thanks for being here on my stream anniversary month. And my uh, 25 year old heat gun still going strong. <laughs> oh my goodness. So if y'all have any questions, put it in caps. Otherwise, I'm just kind of rolling here with this. All right. So now what I want to do is, um, oh, if I put the glitter on, I probably won't. I don't know if I'll be able to varnish it. Maybe. All right. Let me put a little bit of glitter in something here. I use these little, this is my uh, cranberry juice lid, simply cranberry juice. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Let's just put a little bit out there. Don't need much for one. And then let's take this smaller brush. I know. Eight years down here. Oh, to the next eight years. Yeah, thanks, Sammy. I know. All right, so I'm going to take a little bit of that glitter paint. It's pretty thick. I don't know if I'm going to like this. We'll see. But anyway, I just want, I think I might have just got the crust off the top. <laughs> The paint booger off the top. Let's see. Yeah, let me get a little more. So I just want some glitter sparkle around the edge here. So just so you can see how they work. And Jana, are you going to make some more? I saw, you know, that you'd made some. Are you going to make some more? What theme are you going to do? And again, guys, you can use anything. You, It doesn't have to be comic book pages. It can be your own art. It can be any magazine pages or whatever you like, you know, anything you like. All right. So there we go. All right. So there we go. See the, see the glitter? Am I too blue, guys? Here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try a, a color change here on my camera. Y'all tell me which's better. This, one, one, or two? Or can you even tell? You know, now I can't really even tell. Maybe I'll just leave it. I'll just leave it. Okay. All right. So, um, I'm just going around the edge. Okay, there you go. Can you see how it's glitter? Let, let me show you one that's not painted. See the difference there? Trash into art. That's a good one, Janet. Okay, so there you go. So you got, see the glitter around the edge? Here's one without the glitter. And see, I did chip that one in. Let's have to put some more black paint on that. So, yeah. So I really like this glitter. This glitter kind of has like a multicolor look to it. It's a folk art. What is it called? Glitter. Glitterific. Glitterific. So I just put that around the edges there. Okay. Now I would normally let that dry. Let me, let me move all this out of the way here. I would normally let that dry before I varnished it. But I want you all to see because the varnish makes it look like... Mm, Gives it the oomph. <laughs> so the varnish I use, it's the same varnish I use in my mixed media, my mixed media and my altered books. You need that glitter paint? <laughs> I got it at uh, Hobby Lobby, I think. I'm sure you can get it at Michael's too. So my varnish is Delta Create um, Ceram Coat, Delta Ceram Coat, Gloss, Exterior Interior Varnish, and I, they stopped selling at Michael's, so I go to the Hobby Lobby. Now, I'm sure you can get it at Joann's or on, online. 
It's like $10.99 for an eight ounce bottle, but it lasts a long, long time. You know, just one of these little art cards. I'm just going to show you here. So I'm just going to put about the size of maybe a nickel in the middle. And I add just, I mean, I'm not even a full spritz, just a tiniest bit of water in there. Now, again, the glitter is still wet, but, and then I just move, move the varnish around right up to the edge. And if you tuck that, if you tuck the varnish right up under the little lip of your, lip of your crackle, your spackle, it will like seal it. It won't come off or anything. Okay, so there we go. And it dries clear. It has a little bit of milkiness to it now, but it'll dry completely clear. Okay, so there you go. That's all there is to it. That's all there is to making them. You need all the supplies that sparkle. <laughs> all right, so there we go, guys. That is that. Let me get another baby wipe and clean my hands. I'll show you some happy mail. And uh, then we'll do maybe altered an altered page. Let's see. Let me move all the comic book stuff off the desk. <clears throat> and the spackle. Let's move all this out of the way here. Just so I have room. All righty. I'm sitting on a hoodie because my chair is cold. It's cold, actually cold today. I think it's in the 30s. Uh, so there we go. All righty. Sip of juice and got coffee and juice. Hi, Lynn. Okay. So let me show you the happy mail I got. And then we'll do a project and a giveaway. Again, thanks everybody for the eight awesome years of streaming, chatting and arting. And yes, it is a chat show. It's always been a chat show. <laughs> I know I, I don't get it too much anymore, but I used to get comments like, you know, you, you chat so you talk so much. Can't you just work on the project? And yeah, no, that's not happening. <laughs> it's a chat show. Okay. So first off, I want to thank, let me get it here. I want to thank um, Riri and I haven't seen her here, but she sent me a nice little card. And she sent me a book of, uh, well, she sent Hubster a book of dollar stamps. So thank you, Riri. Thanks so much um, for um, the postage. <laughs> we love, po Hubster loves his postage. If he gets postage from you guys, it's happy mail to it for him. Because <laughs> he'll, he'll mail anything I give him. You know, he doesn't care how much, you know, it, it could cost, you know, $5 or $50 and he'll go to the post office and mail it for me. <laughs> I mean, sometimes I go with him like on a Saturday or something. But so anytime y'all send stamps or postage. Okay, so um, there's that. And then Sharon L, y'all know our Sharon L. She doesn't, she's usually never here because she's at work and uh, and she is on, um, on, in, uh, the West Coast, so she's usually not, not here, but I see her on Twitter, and um, I blew her a kiss over the weekend and messaged her and told her thank you for the happy mail. She sent me um, sent me a nice letter. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna read it, but she did say this, Dee Dee. Guess what? It's posted time. So if y'all know Sharon L always sends post its. And she knows I love me some post-its. I go through the post-its. I, I can't even tell you how many of these I go through. I just, just go through and through and through them. So she, uh, yes, it's post-it time. I know, right, Terry? We love post-it time. So, and there's other things here too, but let me just, uh, I'll, I'll weed out. First, let me get to the post-its. Hang on. And I got it. Well, let me show you this first. So I put everything in a basket here. I put all the post-its and everything that she sent. Now, this is not everything. I took some things out, but I want to show you what I'm talking about. I put everything in a basket. <laughs> I put all of the post-its that she sent in a basket along with she sent the kitties this. So... I had this in the basket and some other stuff that, that I have over here on the side. I had it in the basket. 
on the floor waiting for the stream, right? And I kept hearing. I kept hearing this one. I know, and I said, well, the cats are in the post-its. You know, the cats are sniffing and playing with the post-its. The next thing I see is Malibu carrying this off. <laughs> and I said, come back. Come back with that. You can't have those till I show the girls. Well, I they I have I have one of these um, for them, so I do. Have, it's not like if they don't have any treats, but yeah, now we've got lots of treats. <laughs> but I just saw she had this in her mouth. It was she was gonna going down the stairs, out the room, and down the stairs. Come back with that, and then later, which one was it? Which one was? I think it was this one. Let's see which one has a teeth mark in it. I think it's this one. Yeah, this one. Pulled this one out of the basket, and it was downstairs, literally downstairs. I guess she thought maybe this was a treat, too. And you know what's so funny is we always blame Oliver for getting into stuff. Like a loaf of bread. We can't leave a loaf of bread out. Next thing we know, it's on the floor, and they don't really eat it. It's like they just want to dig into it and get the bread. <laughs> And we've always blamed Oliver. I mean, we have caught him before getting into stuff. Don't get me wrong. But it's the girl. The little girl was hauling this stuff out. Right out, right out of the room. Hauling it out. Like, was she gonna, does she have a secret stash somewhere? We need to look into that. There may be a place downstairs. There's a secret stash of cat, um, you know, things that the cats have <laughs> confiscated. But anyway, so Sharon Sharon sent um, these to the cats. She sent about five or six books of stamps and some and some postage money to Hubster. And he gets his own envelope. He just loves that. He thinks he's so special when he gets his own happy mail envelope. So Sharon addresses a little envelope to him with stamps or postage money and puts for Hubster on it. And he just like gets that look on his face like, ha, 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 ha. I got my own happy mail. <laughs> it's really cute, guys. It's really cute. Do you get them some dental life treats? They love them and it's great for their teeth. Dent, dental life? Dental life. Let me write that down. Yeah, because this is the only kind I've ever bought for them. And I don't give it to them that much. You know, I really don't. It's like cat, cat crack. They they get all hyper. They get all hyper when they have that. So dental, dental, what was it again? Dental, let me scroll back. Dental treat. I lost it. What was it again, Eileen? Dental, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Now who thinks she's a ferret? <laughs> yeah, hi, Taps. Good to see you. It's been a while. Um, yeah, I'm looking for it. I can't find it. Dent something. I'll look for dent treats. Thanks, Eileen. Oh, dental life. Dental life. Okay, dental life treats. Okay. Wrote that down. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, he, Hubster got his own happy mail. The cats got their own happy mail. Thanks, Eileen. Dental life. Yeah. <laughs> That's uh, how you, Katrina. I'm sure I'm missing some people. There's Melody. Hi, Melody. I was just saying, I hope you get a good night's sleep tonight. So, yeah, the cats are set for a while. But anyway, they, I can't leave these laying around in here. Because they. Th she, she takes it, the whole bag. All right. Then... I guess Sharon heard, I guess she heard that I was running low on my sh Sharpies. These are the pens I write with all the time. When I do, uh, write, when I'm writing my book, when I'm writing notes, when I'm annotating, when anything like that, this is what I write with, Sharpie pens. So you can see I've already taken one out. I need to take another one of these out because <laughs> these are the ones I use on the screen. Because I like to have these big, uh, thick Sharpies so that you can see it on camera, right? So, um, yeah, these are what I use on stream. And these are what I use to write with. I left them in the package just so y'all could see what the package looks like until I, you know, because then the packaging is gone. My biggest kitty lovers eat those. Oh, okay. Okay. 
Thanks, Elena. Yeah. All right. That's good to know. The cats like those treats that are good for their teeth. So, yes, yeah, so now I've got plenty to write my new story with. Actually, I thought, I don't want to get too much in it because, you know, it's kind of like once it's fresh in your mind, you don't want to like, um, I don't want to say sabotage, but you just don't want to talk about it too much until you really get going with it because that kind of, um, you just kind of want to roll with it as it comes. But anyway, uh, so I'm writing my monk's mail story that I started, I think it was about 20 years ago. And um, so I have my monks, I have the colors, I have the, I have a lot of details. And so I started a whole notebook just for them, just for my monk's mail story. And of course, this is what I write with. I write with, I write everything with these pins. So now I'm ready to go, Sharon. All right, then let's go to the post-its. Oh, and she also sent this bookmark here, uh, William Shakespeare set of five coloring bookmarks. So they're, they're Shakespeare, Shakespearean bookmarks to color. So I'll probably give some of these away. Like when I give away a book, this will be a good thing to stick, you know, in the book. So I just wanted to show you what it looks like before I opened it. <laughs> so let's take these out and look at them. Let's see, here we go. Are they attached? Oh, they are. You got they're perforated. Look at this. Okay, so let's unperf. Oh, they have quotes on the back. See, it didn't show that on here. You don't know that there's quotes in on them, the backs of them. All right, so let's see what they look like. These are good happy mail and sticking books, right? Everybody still with the tour? <laughs> okay, how's the lighting? Are we good? Because it's a rainy day here. So actually that's kind of better when it's a rainy day. The light doesn't fluctuate. Okay. So this one has a bunch of rabbits and sonnet 18. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Thou art more lovely and more temperate. Little rabbits. Of course, this looks like, you know, my nickname is Inky Well. So this is, my, you know, my, uh, if I keep one, it would be this one. <laughs> to thine own self be true. So there's this one. Aren't they cool, guys? There's one with an owl on a gate, like a iron gate. Good night, good night. Parting is such sweet sorrow that I shall say good night till it be morrow. And no, 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 uh, no actor here, people. No. <laughs> So don't don't email me. And go. You read that like crap. <laughs> uh, yeah, the plume one. Yeah. Okay. This looks like two lovebirds, maybe two lovebirds. Words are easy, like the wind. Faithful friends are hard to find. The passionate pilgrim. Is that, I was gonna say this can't be my mailman. There's no mail today. So there's that one, and then this one. Has a viola, I think. Is that a viola? What is that, Jean? What is that with the big bolt barreled bolt bottom? Is that a viola? I love that one with the loot. The loot. Is this a loot? Oh, is that a loot? Is that a loot, Loretta? Loretta loot! <laughs> Mandolin? <laughs> Mandolin or loot? Okay. And it says, if music be the food of love, play on. Twelfth night. So there's those. So these will be giveaways in books or just random giveaways. Y'all know. Do the do it. Loot is right. Okay. Thank you, Queen. Loot is ancestral mandolin. Is it's it is an a a a an ancestral as uh yeah. <laughs> In your is it like ancestral, like in your family, Katrina or Catherine? I'm not sure how to, to interpret that. Okay, then these are the ones I go through all the time. These, this just regular post, I go through these all the time. She sent me two big packs of these. And then these other ones are the kind that I like to give away. Oh, and I do use these too, the little ones. So I go through a lot of these because um, I write all my notes on these. And then the note from there, 
they go into notebooks. I mean, like, I don't say all my notes. If I wake up in the middle of the night, if I read something online or an ex I get somebody's address or just little notes, they all go on post-it notes first and then they get transferred into other notebooks, other three ring binders, traveler's notebooks, they get transferred. And then, then the post-its get thrown away. But I go through these. I can't tell you how many I go through. I go through a lot. And I always have at least two or three of these by my bed. I usually have one or two of these by my bed because that's that's usually where I do most of my reading. I read try to read, you know, um, every day. But, you know, sometimes it doesn't happen. But All right. Huffster and I like to read in bed. So we go to bed early. <laughs> we just go to bed and read. <laughs> You can see we're real, we're real exciting folk around here. What do you do for excitement? Well, on date night, we go to the Waffle House and every night we just go to bed and read. <laughs> and the rest of the time I'm streaming <laughs> or arting, I should say arting and streaming. Okay, so here's some different ones that she sent. This is, uh, has a hashtag on it. This one has... Boxing gloves? Oh, pink power. Oh, breast cancer awareness. That's a pink power. I was going to say, I don't get the, the gloves, but that's what it's for. Pink pink power. <laughs> yeah, heaven, yes. Just go to bed and read. Uh, this one, uh-oh. We need to send this one to Eileen. Is that? That's uh, a flamingo. <laughs> Let's see what else is in this one. This one looks like I have some other stuff in it, too. Oh, look, this is cute. It's got a pineapple, a cacti, and a flamingo. <laughs> Eileen goes, no, no, no. Uh, this one's another um, breast cancer awareness ribbon. Uh-oh, come back here. Come back here. <laughs> All right, then we got some emoji ones. Everybody loves the emoji ones. I get requests. Send me some of those emoji ones. Because everybody loves, and they're, they are pale. It, it looks like maybe, you know, I don't have color on, but they're pale. Uh, so there's the blow a kiss, laughing out loud, a wink. What others? There's some more ones here with emojis. I think that's all the emojis. Oh, here's another hashtag. Hashtag one. <clears throat> here's a couple of coffee. Like, you know, Starbucks type coffee. Of course, everybody has these now, but, you know, with the with the band around them. You need the coffee cup one. <laughs> then there are some owls. There's a couple of owls. One with pink glasses, one with brown glasses. Like brother and sisters. <laughs> Little owls. Hoot owls. Post-its. Aren't they so cute, guys? I just love them. And like I said, these are usually the ones that I give away because these are the ones I, that, like, these are the workhorse. These are the workhorse post-its. Okay, then this one has got, yeah, this is the one that um, Malibu tried to uh, take. Let's see. It's not a, no wonder she couldn't get into it. There's not a flap on it. You have to cut into it. So there's some cupcakes. <clears throat> Here's some paw prints. And I usually take them out like this because there's usually two in a pack. And then that way I can put them in an envelope. I can send, send them out as in Happy Mail. Paw prints. <laughs> I know, right? Paw prints. There's another coffee cup. So I've got three of those. They're just different colors. Like this one's a brown. This one's a white. Just different colors. Then we got a thumbs up. And I know what this one is. And I'm going to open it because I've, I've shown these before. Everybody gets a big kick out of these. And these are the official post-its, you know, the brand post-it. <clears throat> but these are really cute. Maybe we'll do a giveaway with these today. Look, you know what it is? Coffee and donuts. <laughs> and they're coffee and donut post-it. Isn't that cute? Coffee and donut post-it. 
So yeah, there's that. So those are all the post-its. Let me just stick them back here in this basket because that way I can move them around easier. Yeah, I gotta have a big basket full of full of them here. Then she sent. Wait for it. Wait for it. Let me move my scissors here. Then the last thing she sent. Oh, I'm gonna have to move these treats out of here too. Because the cats get in here, that's the first thing they're going to go for. Love the color of the donut. I know, hot pink donut. Then she sent us an Abandoned Castles, a copy of Abandoned Castles. So I will probably work in my Abandoned Castles today. <laughs> well, I might work in Abandoned Places. I don't. I pulled both. I pulled these two out of my... Uh, I think I have seven now. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I've got eight. But Abandoned Civilizations, I have a double copy. So that, that way, I, it's, I like having that double copy so that I can have one that hasn't pictures haven't been messed up. I say messed up. Painted on. And then one that, uh, one that I can uh, photograph from. So anyway, but we're going to give this one away. So we're going to give this away today. How about that? Let me pick out a, let me pick out a, uh, let's, let's get the one with the owl here. We'll get the owl. So I'll put a bookmark in it too. Uh, so we're going to give this away today. Abandoned Castles. Put a bookmark in it. Let's just put it in the middle. So, and I'll, I'll, I'll flip through mine. So I don't, I, I won't flip through this one. And um, the books are, these are by Carrie and Connolly who I follow on Twitter and he follows me. And anytime I post, anytime I do any work out of his books, I always link him and he always, he, he likes, I guess he just, he likes it that we all play in his books. Of course we, you know, it's good for his sales because we are always buying his books, sometimes duplicates. So uh, I don't think he minds us altering his books because we love his books. We love them as they are. And a lot of people have bought them and said, I, I, I can't alter them. I can't alter them. Thanks, Terry. Terry's putting in links. So thank you so much, Sharon. And Hubster, thanks you as well for the postage. Uh, it really does help, guys, because, you know, <laughs> uh, anytime I do a giveaway like a book or anything like that or a piece of art, I do, I do send it priority mail, which usually runs, you know, just for the flat rate. The flat envelopes are six ninety five. dollars so, yeah, it is, you know, and that's not including international, but I do give away international. So if it goes international, if I do a giveaway and it goes international, it will just go regular mail and we cross our fingers and hope for the best because I can't track, I can't track international. I think it's a minimum of $50 to track international. I just, you know, might as well just send you the money to buy the book, right? <laughs> So, um, yes, we uh, we hope for the best when we send international. But so far, we haven't had, I don't think, really any issues um, that I know of. Now, I have had uh, issues with my commission. You know, I do portraits. I do people and pet portrait commissions. I've scaled them way back, but, you know, occasionally. But I don't do international ones anymore because I have lost two pieces of art international and then then i have the option of either refunding them their money or redoing the art and i don't like to do either one <laughs> uh, <laughs> so anyway this is uh i do rant and how i do the drawings and i'm not doing it yet i'll just let me go ahead and tell y'all how we do the drawings uh when when i start the drawing i will type in go and then everybody can put in a number between one and usually 200. Uh, then you put in a number between one and 200. The closest person without going over to the random.org random number drawing, random generator, um, then gets the prize. So that's how I do my giveaways. That being said, if you weren't here earlier, I, uh, I am going to do a um, leave a comment drawing next week so next week i'll do a leave a comment under that specific video uh for you to uh leave a uh, leave a comment and then i will assign all of them a number i print them all out sign them all a number and then we, again we do a random.org so they're still they're still random it's just more work for me to print them out number everybody you know so yeah 
Okay, so I'm gonna set this aside. I will uh, show you, I will go through mine just so I don't, you know, I'm not gonna bend up this one for the giveaway. All right, so we'll put that aside. Um, okay, it's a little chilly in here. Okay, um, I'm looking around, see if there's anything else. I'm gonna have to go get me some hot coffee in a minute. Are the cat herders all here? <laughs> Hi, Mark. Good to see you. Hope you're feeling better. Um, we'll have enough as long as we have three or four cat herders, i.e. mods with wrenches. We'll be okay. <laughs> all right. So my abandoned books, again, I won't go through all of them. I have six. I think I have six, uh, seven I'm working in. All right. So I have abandoned places, abandoned civilizations. Abandoned Castles, and those are all by Kerry and Connolly. Then I also have Forgotten Heritage, Lost Cities, Abandoned America, and Abandoned Theme Park. So, and I kind of rotate through working in all of those. Uh, eventually, I'll, you know, get, get one done. <laughs> Hi, Jill. Hi, Shirley. I love the abandoned places that I've done. Thank you, Shirley. So uh, I probably have done the most in abandoned places. Abandoned castles, I've only done a couple in, I think. Um, and I also, abandoned castles is the one where I actually did a, a page out of it and tore it out and sent it uh, to Kiri and Connolly as a thank you for, you know, doing these books because we love these books. So let me flip to the pages that I have done. There's only a couple, I think, in here. here well, I started this one. No, let's not. Hang on. Here we go. So this is one that we did in, in this book. It's a little flashed out, but it's not too, too bad. Let's see here. Let's, uh, let's turn it down just, just a tad. There we go. There we go. That's better. We'll see how it works when I start uh, altering it. Um, so let me, um, oh, well, I was going to show you. Well, let me go ahead and get the new one out that Sharon sent, just so I can show you what this page looked like to start. What page is this on? This is six. <clears throat> so I'll show you what it looked like when we, before we, we worked on it. Where is that? Because the page numbers aren't aren't on every page. Let me go back a couple more pages. Okay, here it is. All right, so this is what the double page spread looked like to start with. Okay, this was the original page. I love when you show the comparisons. Oh, okay. Hi, Jean. Hi, Mama Four. How did you get the idea to alter these books? Um, I've I've always liked doing collage and mixed media. I think um, after I started doing the first one on stream about seven years ago, I'm pretty sure it was seven. I, it wasn't in my first year of streaming, probably my second year of streaming, the one that has um, Sean Connery in it, the tall one. And then that I got the idea to complete a full book, to do a full book, not just pages in a book, but complete full books. You know, I'm still to this day, I've never completed a full book. So that's when I started um, doing more in those, in the uh, altering a book. And then when abandoned books came out, it was like, I love abandoned places. So that kind of really inspired me to do. And now, you know, like I said, I've got seven to work in. So that's what it looks like now. So we've gone from this, and that includes painting out the text, and then I blend out, I blend out the, uh, see, this is all painted in. That was just this white strip right there, right? So all this is painted in. Okay. <clears throat> all right, let me put this one to the side because I don't want to mess up the giveaway book. <clears throat> But I, but I haven't worked that much in this one. And I do have lots of videos, guys. If you look in mixed media, art journal, and um, collage playlist, you'll see all of these books and all the different pages. Lots, you know, 
we've done a lot. Now, sometimes, now not in this one so much, but I'll show when I go to abandoned places over here. Sometimes I'll work, especially here on camera. I'll do, you know, usually a full on completed page or close to. But when I'm by myself, sometimes I'll just go through the whole book, paint out a bunch of things black or paint in, you know, just paint, not necessarily complete a story on a page. But, um, oh, let me show you this one. Okay. <laughs> I guess I should have kept the book over here so I could show you the ones that are completed. Okay, this is page one of the four. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Let's see. Okay, so this is what this one looked like at first. Okay, so this was the original. Thanks, Catherine. This is what it looked like to start with. And this is what we turned it into, including painting, <laughs> painting in little blue angel fish. This one has got a lot going on. I admit it, it has a lot going on. <laughs> Hi, Shauna. Thank you. Okay, so let's see. Do I have any more completed pages in this book? I think I might have one more. Okay, this one. Okay, so this is page. And this one I varnished, too. See the shine on it? So this, they will eventually all be varnished with the same varnish I showed y'all earlier. Uh, page 68. Let's see. Okay, so this is what this one looked like to start with. Okay, so this is what we started with. And this is what we went to. <clears throat> Let's see. So you can kind of see. Try to bring it up a little there. So, yeah. So went from this to this. They're so fun, guys. I'm telling you. And if you don't like abandoned places, a lot of people think it's they're kind of creepy or something. I love giving them new worlds, new life, new, new civilizations. <laughs> um, you know, I love doing that. But if you don't like necessarily abandoned places, pick a book to work in of something you like. Travel, gardening pets, you know, specific places. Do you paint those peacock feathers? Or, um, these are, these are cutouts. Yeah. These are collage. Yeah. This, these are half painted, half collage. All the streaks and stars and star shine and the nebulization, that's all paint. This is, a, this is one of those sea dragons. And I, you know, specifically wanted it to look like a dragon. All right, let's see. Did I get anything else in this book? Let's see. Here's when I started blacking out. That'll that'll probably be all stars and nebulas, planets. Let's see. Let me do one more in here. This, here's another one that started. That's all blacked out there. Same for this one. And I just use craft paint, guys. It's just like Americana craft paint. Nothing special. So you can see how I've started some of these. This, there'll be stars down here. These will have like little, little star worlds in between the cracks and crevices. Um, in progress there. I think that's all in this one. I haven't done, this is probably the one that I've done the least amount of work in. Oh, no, I showed that one. Just, yeah. Okay, I did show that. Okay. So this one has the least amount of work in. But this is the one that Sharon sent us. So we'll we're gonna do a giveaway with that today. All right, now let's see. Let's go to my well, I might show a couple out of abandoned civilizations because I can compare these two. All right, so let me show a couple out of this one and then I'll show the book that I don't have an, another version, another uh, version of this one so I, you can only see the you know can't see the originals but this one I have yeah here this is it the cats here's my wax paper 
And I did do some thumbnails with this one, although I didn't use thumbnails, but just so that y'all can, if you're, if you don't exactly know what you want to do on your pages, um, they're very, just very loose thumbnails of what I want to do on some of the pages here. Um, I usually don't do this, but I did in this book. I don't know why, but I did. Made a bunch of thumbnails. And then we use cats in this one. <laughs> and these are just some of the leftover cats that I haven't used yet. Let me stick those in the back, too. Okay, so let me um, keep my band in civilizations that's not worked in next to me. So, And I think I got most of them might have, well, some of them anyway, have a... Uh, pages mark okay so i'm going to flip through this and show you some of the pages that i've uh that are in progress and if i get to a finished page then i will let me move this one out of the way <clears throat> if i get to a finished page then i'll show you the original okay do you imagine how the author would react to send a completed book yeah i i can't do that katrina i sent him a i sent him a original page i, I can't send him a whole book for one It'll probably be years till I finish one. So yeah, he'll have he'll have many more by the time I finish one, you know. <laughs> so I'm gonna just flip this one. Is again abandoned civilizations. This is his newest one. This is his newest book out. Okay, this one's in progress. Um, let me just go. Let me maybe flip together here. This one doesn't have a lot done on it, but you know, has a few things. So this is what it looks like original. And I started adding water. I believed Egypt was one, all this was at one time underwater. Thanks. It's just, a, it's in progress. You know, it's not, this is all I've done. It was just the water. So let me just keep flipping. <laughs> So again, you can see some different small bits. This is what it looks like originally, and this is so far what I've done with it. Not a lot. It's not done, but, you know, I dot. But I love ancient history. I love history. I love studying, reading. I just love history, ancient history. I, I love it. So, all right, so I'm just going to keep flipping till I get to a page that I've worked on, and then I'll show you. Okay, so this one I'm going to do as a checkerboard down here, and these are going to be chess pieces. So that's really not a lot done, but let me show you what it looks like to start. I've got to kind of flip them together. So, <clears throat> so I haven't done that much. So it's just got this road to it. But it might give you all an idea of the progression Although, you know, I do go into extensive <laughs> explanations while I'm doing them, but just so you can kind of get an idea. And again, so some of these I've just started blacking out. Here I've added some um, glow to it here. There was no glow there. Let me get to the glow. So like this is what it looked like to start here. And then I just added my own, you know, light. So, again, this one has started to be painted out. Not a lot done yet, but you can see the bottom down here. And then I've started painting it out. And you see, I just go over the text. I don't know if this is interesting to anybody, but, yeah. <laughs> you can see and this one I just started painting out the back of the relief here. Um, just painting out behind them black. That's all I've done on that one. This one I added black around the whole um, terracotta army. This one I've just blacked out some of the background. Uh, do you clear gesso? No, I use uh, golden matte medium, uh, Linda. I use golden matte medium to matte, matte the pages at first and glue. So all, all my gluing of my collage elements is all done with golden matte medium. I will, you'll see when I start here in a minute. This one I want to do fire in. I want fire in this one. Um, okay, so let's go to this page. Let's see here. Okay, so this is what this one started out as, like this. 
and this is what I've done so far. Again, you know, when I'm working on them personally, I'll work a little on one page, work a little on another page. So when you're working on these personally, don't ever feel like, oh, I've got to finish that page before I move on. Now, I know some people, I think, uh, Tra no, Tracy does multiple pages. I don't see Leather and Jade here. I'm not sure if she has. Some people like to finish a page before they move on. I don't feel that need. I don't feel the need to finish a page before I just work a little here or work a little there. And I go back and forth between all seven books. Okay, so this one. <laughs> this is one where we've got the cat. So here, this is what it started out as right here. And then here's where we've turned it into so far. And again, it's not done. He's not even glued down yet. <laughs> um, that's not even glued down yet. So but got the stars going. So the water's coming off of there and falling down here. <laughs> okay. So let's see. This one's just got, uh, this one had four pictures and I'm uh, just getting rid of the background again, just getting rid of the background. This one I started doing, um, little ideas on top of these towers here. This is the Cambodian. I think this one's in Cambodia. Miramar. I think that's what this one is. <clears throat> okay, this we added a little cat. So he's just sitting there. I haven't glued him down yet. <laughs> well, yeah, we added cats to a lot of the pages. Or they, they will have uh, cats added to a lot of them, like this one. <laughs> <laughs> and I haven't done the nebulization. I haven't done the, the stars, the planets. I'm going to, you know, have that all around this one. But let me show you the, um, what page is this on? 81. So here's what this one looked like. See so how a sidebar with text. And so this is what this page <laughs> No, I love the cats, don't y'all? I know, everybody loves the cats. So this is what this one started out as. And this is what we've got. See, I've painted out the sidebar and the text and all that. I'm trying to hold it up because there is a shine on it when I lay it down. I guess I could prop it up with a little bit of a book. That kind of just takes the, takes the glare off if I prop the book up just an inch or so. There we go. <laughs> you started working in a Vogue magazine. Um, the thing about working in fashion magazines, there's nothing wrong with working in a fashion magazine, but those, the fashion magazines have the thinnest pages of anything. So just be aware, you really have to mash down anything you glue in. Uh, and I don't glue any two pages together in any of my um, magazine uh magazine altered magazine journals or anything like that but the fashion magazines can be tricky because those are they're the cheapest magazines but they're also the thinnest so yeah okay so i'm just going to keep flipping here so i got this is all painted out down here painted out the sidebar painted out the you know the text here and I'll just I'll just extend this into some more more of a world. See, when you have a big blank page like this, you can make it anything you want. You wish you had a video. Oh wait, Lynn is doing. Oh, okay. You're talking to Lynn. Okay, sorry. Okay, so here's this one, and this is page. What page are we on? Oh, sorry. And there's videos on all these guys. So if you want to watch the whole process, all right, so, <clears throat> so this, let me take this back. Well, I'll leave it there because it's just a sidebar. So this is what we started with. Seeing the before, it is really, isn't it, Pecola? It is a big help to see the before and after. So this is the before and here's the after. Got a lot going on on this one. And down here, what I used is I had a whole, I still have tons of little 
themed mini stickers, little tiny stickers that you used to use in scrapbooks or just planners or whatever, little mini tiny stickers. So what I did is I just wanted a bunch of like almost like confetti look in the water. So all of this down here is just a bunch of stickers painted over. Okay. Hi, Asher. Do you ever get stumped on when you want to turn the world into? No, because something always comes to me as I'm doing it. Um, other than those few thumbnails I showed you with just the idea like, oh, I want stars up here. I want fire here. I want, you know, just minimum of a uh, thumbnail. And that's the only ones I've ever done with thumbnailing. Uh, I just go for it. And, and most, most of the time, I'd say probably, I don't know, eight, 75, 80% of the ones that I do, I do here on stream. So, you know, I do occasionally just do them on my own. But when I'm on my own with nobody, you know, talking and chatting with and hanging out with, I'm usually doing a lot of background, you know, like blacking out, you know, doing a lot of base, you know. This one here. So it just started, you know, I'm just working on that. So you just, you know, like this. I can just imagine. I can imagine a little whirlpool. So I just did a little whirlpool coming up like that. See here. I can just imagine it. Um, oh, you're welcome, Brenda. So y'all get your uh, get your uh, altered book pan pants on because we're going to do a giveaway in a little bit. <laughs> we're going to give away an abandoned castle that Sharon sent us. Sharon L. Okay, here's another one where I started with cats. Let's see. Okay, so here's what it looks like. I haven't done much to this one, but this is this is what it looks like with the white border, the sidebar, the text. And see, I paint all that out. So if you want to remember what your world started out as, you want to probably write it down or something. Because I'm not going to remember every country that these are in once I paint them out. <clears throat> okay. So, yeah, <laughs> we got cats in this one. <laughs> There's Petra. I just love that photograph on its own. Masada painted out the background there. Okay, this one, really nothing going on. I got a little. And I what I do is, like, until I decide for sure if I want to glue it, I just take a glue stick and just tack it down. Just kind of tack it down until I decide if I'm going to glue it down. Where do you get the cat pics? They were sent to me. Uh, Norma sent them, and the book was called Pounce. The book was called, it's a small book, and it's called Pounce. Um, and I've cut them all out and used them. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, but you can get calendars. Remember, guys, I get a lot of my pictures from calendars every year around the first week of February, last week of January. All the calendars at Books a Million are $3. They all go on sale for $3. Doesn't matter the size, the price, they all go on sale for $3. Barnes & Noble, I think, marked theirs down first 50% and then maybe 75% if there's any left. Uh, but Books a Million has the best bargain on calendars. You can buy cat calendars, dog calendars. You know, there's a calendar on everything, right? Um, oh, thank you, Terry. So here's another one. It's got a cat and a fish. That's all that's been done to this, just deciding that. Okay, here's one that's done. This is page. Let me see the page number here. Mm -mm. So, yeah, I think it's helpful to see these. All right, so this is a really dramatic. This one's a really dramatic. Okay, so this is what it started out as. I've seen calendars. Yeah, there's calendars at the dollar store. Now, most of those calendars that are like just really inexpensive, like for a dollar normally, they're real thin. They're really thin, which is okay. You just have to be, have a little bit more work with getting a page, you know, getting them glued down because they're so thin. It's like a fashion magazine. So, yeah, so here's this one. Let me take that off. 
So that's what we did. This one we did sort of recently, I think. So we went from this to this. Little waterfall down here. <laughs> Here's some more cat <laughs> cat action. And this one, oh, we're gonna have the cat herding horses. Kate Karen Gaymore suggested that. So uh yeah, this is the pictograph of you know really old uh cave paintings, and we're gonna have this little cat herding horses. <laughs> All right, this one started. Let's see where that one is. This one started. Here we go. No, wait, what page is that? Okay, so this is what it started out as. And it's not done. It's not done, but we've got this far on it. So again, all this will be painted out and blended in. We'll paint our own clouds to make this blend in. Let's we'll just pat it. Let's take a moment to pat. <laughs> oh, let's see. Do we have much more? I don't think I have much more done in this one. Oh, got a little cat there. Um, and all these are, are good for uh, star bowls and pools of stars another cat this one's got hands reaching up for it what kind of paint it's all just craft paint <clears throat> just like americana craft paint it's all craft paint and then i glue everything with golden matte medium and I varnish everything with a Ceram Coat, Delta Ceram Coat Exterior Interior Varnish Gloss. So, let's see, do I have anything else? Oh, I got a cat and a fish here hiding in the thing there. I'll have that. Started doing some water stuff going, all this is painted in right here. All the water. Let's see what page is this. 203. <laughs> 203. <laughs> so not a lot done yet, but you can see it's just plain and it just it just looked like it needed water. Water spouts. Is that the same as tip? No, it's not the same as tempera. Uh uh was it Caroline? Caroline? NYCA Caroline. It's a little different. I mean, I maybe you could use tempera, but I don't know. The only tempera paints that I've seen around in my craft stores are like the kind that teachers use for kindergartners. I mean, they're they're even a little less expensive than acrylics. These run about a dollar, you know, each in the craft stores. But tempera, I don't know. Yeah, I, I'd stick with what's called just acrylic. Yeah. And so you can see I added all the water coming down here. Oh, I think I've got one more picture. Oh, there's another cat and fish. Okay, this one's done and varnished. See how it's varnished? It's all shiny varnish. Okay, so this one is page... I think this is the last one in this book that I finished. What page is this? Two, nine. Okay, so this is what this one... This one's pretty dramatic. This is what this started out as. Easter Island. And see, it's got a sidebar. And then we turned it into this. <clears throat> so, yeah. Um, temper is more painting on windows and glasses. Yeah. I, yeah, I just never use it, Eileen. But that's, yeah, probably window painters probably use temper because it's easily removed off windows. Yeah. So there's that one. So, again, went from this to this add a, quite a bit to this one 
Hi, Dusty. Uh, thanks, Lynn. And this one is completed and varnished. So they'll all varnish. And the varnish I use, let me show you the bottle again. As long as you let it dry 100%, don't try to close your book in an hour later. I leave the books open over, overnight. But it's a Delta Ceram Coat Gloss Exterior Interior Varnish. It's water-based. It's the same varnish I use on my art cards, my collage, my mixed media, my everything. It's the same varnish I use. Now, I'm sure there's other brands of water base, and that means that this, it's not an oil base. You don't need mineral spirits to clean it up. Okay, it's water base, cleans up with water. Tempera works more like watercolor and not like acrylic, so it may not cover. Yeah, not, it would be too um, translucent, Jean. Yeah. Um, I just love my Americana paints, and you, there's all different brands. I just like the variety of colors with Americana but you know it doesn't have to be Americana um what if you um to apply this apply if it's a big page like this use a sponge brush use one of those foamy sponge brushes not a regular brush because then you'll get brush marks when I'm doing my little art cards like I moved them off the table here what I put um when you do your art cards let's see like this kind of thing like this I just put it on with my finger okay but um because I can just smooth it out with my finger but when it's a big page like this I use a one of those foam brushes you know those disposable kind although you, I wash them out and reuse them you know, they're not you don't have to throw them away all right so that's all I have done in abandoned civilizations so I do have a duplicate of that one so that y'all can see them both. Um, all right. Um, let me just show you a couple pages out of Forgotten Heritage. Now, this one is not Kieran Connolly. This one is Matthew Emmett. And I do follow him. You can follow him on Facebook, too. I offered to send him a page. But, um, yeah, he never said whether he wanted one or not. So if he ever wants one, I'll send him a page out of his book, too. Um, so I won't go through the whole thing. Maybe I'll go backwards. Eileen sent me this one. Well, I guess I can't really flip it that way. Eileen sent me this one, and I do not have a before and after to show you. But I, I'll just flip through it so you can kind of get an idea of some of the pages in this one. This is just some... I, you can just see, I just made it look like an old wall or something. So, um, got a lot of wind and stuff going on in this book. So, this was the page with the text, right? So, for now, it's just like this. I could add some more stuff to it, whatever. But, uh, okay, let me get this book. I don't even know if I need this. Maybe just slightly. There we go. Okay, so these were a bunch of abandoned, like, uh, I don't know if they're tankers or what. But anyway, it, it kind of looked like uh, Noah's Ark. <laughs> That's what I ended up making it kind of look like. But, um, yeah, so I, I love this book. This is I love this one that Eileen sent me. I've done quite a bit of storytelling in it. And a lot of blacking out of the pages. This one might have more blacked out pages than any. So like here's a star thing I did here. There's a watch here. And I made it look like a portal. You'll see that. So yeah. So there's quite a bit done in this book. But I don't have something to show, compare it to. To show you a, you know, a before and after. But I'll just do a quick flip. So like this, I just added the little, the little light to each one of those. Oh, feel better, Dusty. Are you still in the hospital? Hope you're feeling better or getting better. And you see this look, guys. This is where it's just been uh, painted out. It's not complete. It's just like a wash of black paint on there right now. I hope you're doing better. This one's done. This was a bunch of oil tankers. 
Uh, I added Mount Fuji and then turned the oil tankers into UFO like looking things, little uh, little stair stairs coming out of them. <laughs> so yeah, just make stories up, you know, and don't be afraid. The thing is, is you if you got an idea, try it. If it doesn't work, you can just paint over it. You know, if these little stairs didn't turn out like I wanted or anything, I would just paint it over it. All right, well, you get better, girl. Girl, get better. So, yeah, I started just getting rid of a lot of backgrounds and things. So they're all in different stages. I think this was the first page I did in this book. Um, this is some, uh, like, Tiffany stained glass that I did these paths with. And I like to put time in my, uh, you know, one of my favorite themes or elements that I like are watches, clocks, anything that represents time and stars, nebulas and planets, outer space. I love those are my favorite themes to add. Here's some Mount Fuji bits here. So you can just see they're all in different stages. See, this is all painted out and then I painted... Um, you know, outer space around there and uh, just blending this, just blend it with paint. This one, I want another, have another checkerboard here. Maybe some, um, might paint in some uh, chess pieces or something. Again, you know, working out, just working out, getting rid of the background. Painted in some water there. So they're, they're in different stages in this book. This one has broken glass. So I just kind of have the wind coming through. Then over here, this is all paint. Paint. <clears throat> Cats went in here really bad. I might have to just go hide their treats and then let them in. <laughs> Because as long as those treats are available, they will, they want those treats that Sharon sent. <laughs> so again, some just little water trickling there, some light coming out of the headlights. Then I might put a bee in here. I don't know. I just got it stuck in there for now. This is a flower I glued on there. Uh, another flower and some little cutouts of butterflies. Why do you think you are attracted to time and space? Um... I started my first love of books. Well, when I was first learning how to read, my grandma taught me how to read very young. But um, I started reading biographies. I read a lot of biographies. And then the next thing I started reading that made me fall in love with reading was science fiction. Science fiction was my first love of reading. So, yeah, all the old science fiction. You know, Heinlein, Asimov, you know, the old, old sci-fi, you know, old school sci-fi. <laughs> no, it's not treat time. It's time to hide the treats. <laughs> these are just glued down and these are going to have some dials on them. Paint some water here watch part there have some wind blowing through here and all these little letters are stickers and stamps these are all either stamped or, or stuck some are, are rubber stamps and some are sticker cut out letters so that's that one started there's that one they all have a little a little something going on i think almost this one doesn't but almost every page has something stuck on it so these are some uh, negative space feathers. I got this. This is a giant like ring, like a picture of a ring. And so I turned it into a fine saucer there. I don't have anything to do with space and time. Jim Wall, way out the I know. <laughs> so again, this just some white paint. Same thing for this one. This is a cut, cut out and glue, cut out and glue. And then this is just white paint. I have these marked because I really want to work on them. So 
as soon as I finish flipping through these, I think before I start working, before I start working on them, I'll do a giveaway. How about that? And I got to take a quick break and go get some coffee. Um, yeah. Added some little water trickling down there. Just starts. You know, I don't, I don't know exactly how the world will completely develop yet. But, you know, they're started anyway. I, I'm not, I don't wait till like, you know, I know that I wanted these two cemetery angels to be connected. But how I'm going to incorporate them totally into this world yet, I don't know. But I knew I wanted that. So I rolled with that. I did not let the completed in it because I don't have the completed vision in my head of the whole thing. I didn't let that stop me from gluing these down and starting. If you wait till you think you got the whole thing figured out, you won't start, people. I'm telling you. Here's some fractals that just matched the color of this geodome. Same for this. This was here. There's nothing glued to this page. And this big fractal piece, I glued that on there. So, and it's a little flashed out, guys. I'm trying to... These big gears, I, I just imagine this is a big, you know, big piece of scrap metal out in space floating after, you know, some kind of Star Wars incident happened. <laughs> Take a break and let the kittens in. Oh, my gosh, you girls. This was just a mural painted. It was an alien mural. That's That was in the book. Yeah. Here I started adding water to all this. Here I added my own stairs. Those those weren't there. I added my own stairs. So this one's got a lot of partially done pages. My abandoned places book that I'm getting ready to show you. It has a lot of completed pages. So I'm going to show you that one next. So you see I've just got a lot of black as long as it's got, got got rid of the white and the sidebar and the text, this is, I love that reflection right there. Do you collect a bunch of images? Um, yeah, I, I, a newbie, Cheryl. <laughs> I have bins and bins and bins and bins of collage stuff. And I used to have it all organized by topic. Like I had all my watches and I had drawers, you know, those plastic top tower drawers. I had one with drawer, a drawer with uh, clocks and watches, another one with birds and fish, another one with people, another one. And I, I found that I wasn't using them. The best way that I like to use my now, sometimes like if I want some flowers, I'll have, you know, I'll look for some, you know, a stack of where I maybe have a, um, a stack of flowers paper clip together or something like that. But I just enjoy the digging. See right here. That's that's a little I painted that in right there and that that's all painted in. Same for this, that light ray coming down on him. That's that's paint. Um, I like digging through bins of stuff. <laughs> okay, so I think that's pretty much it in here. Just some random, you know, pieces that are kind of partially filled in. And that's Forgotten Heritage by Matthew Emmett. Um, so real quick... I'll show you abandoned places. Now, you know what, guys? I gotta take a quick break and go get some coffee. Then I'll show you abandoned places, and then we'll give away abandoned castles. So, where's uh, where is Andy? Let's get Andy Warhol here. He's got all kinds of stuff stuck to him. Andy Warhol will be. He's he's um, uh, like when I say BRB. He's, uh, he's my BRB person. So when you see Andy there, it means I'll be right back. Okay, so mods hang loose. I'll be right back.
I gave them a little a little light early lunch so they will um, let me work. <laughs> okay. All right, let's move in there. All right, so everything okay in chat, guys? We good. All right, hang on, guys. I'm going to do a giveaway in just a minute. Try to review these so that y'all kind of see, especially if you're new. i got to catch my breath. You can kind of see what we've done over the last couple years, I guess. All right, now I don't have any um, comparison. You'll just have to see what the finished page is. This is one that's done and varnished. So you'll just have to kind of see these as without a comparison. So there, are, some are in progress. Some are, some are finished. <clears throat> Don't believe the stuff, any <laughs> Janet. Janet, what are you and Eileen going to do today? This is one of my favorite pages. I love this. I love my planet um, explosion. I really like the way this turned out. It's a little flash down. I don't want to get it too dark, though. Hi, Becky. Anybody else popping in? Thanks for being here. So this one has quite a bit done in it. Not necessarily all finished, but there is a lot of work done in this one. <clears throat> Hi, Zoe. Anybody else I missed? Thanks for being here. And for y'all that have seen me flip through these books a ton of times, then thanks for your patience. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, we're going to make trading. Oh, you're going to do some trading coins with the mountain of magical papers you created. Awesome, Janet. Awesome. This one's done, but it's not varnished yet. But I really like this one. Tilt it just, there's a little bit better. Uh, view of the color. It washes out just a little bit. But it's not too bad. You like looking at them? Thank you. This this is like one of my all-time favorites. I love this one. This is all paint. All that's paint. I love the way this one looks. The little hologram things on the newel post. There we go. There's the color. Stay color. Stay. You like the stairwells? Yeah. So, yeah, there's a, there's quite a bit going on in this book. This one. And they're in just different, different stages. This one's done. Everybody wants me to do this one, but uh, I don't know. It just hasn't really spoken to me. See, I love stuff like this. This one's done. Some of them are busier than others. Some of it, a lot of it depends on how much time we have. Like if I start running out of time when I'm working on them, I just, you know, don't put as much detail in the worlds. I just leave the worlds a little, <laughs> a little less detailed. You got two abandoned books. Good, Diana. This one's done. When I say done, it still needs to be varnished for the most part. Because like, you have to leave them open overnight when you varnish them. And so I usually just don't get, get to that, <laughs> that stage. Some of them, you know, but not very often. This one's in progress. So you don't always have to use black. Like this one, I use an orange, like... Um, so and kept it so you could still see through it there. This one came. This was a one of the examples where there's four pictures. There's four pictures on the book, and to tie all four pictures in into one world, that's a little tricky. And I've done a few of them here just to show you how to do it. So um, you know the mountains here painted in and into the water to make it all look like one one world or at least at least uh, connected worlds uh, I use a Delta ceram coat external interior 
I'll show it again. I've shown it to, I've already shown it three times. <laughs> I'll show it again when I use it or when we get a little further down. Yeah. Planning to start your first abandoned castle page tomorrow. I know idea where to start. You just have to find a page you that's just that you like. Find a page you like and just throw some paint on it. Or your other option is to go through the book. Now, this one's done and varnished. So you can see how shiny it is. Um, this is also one of my favorite pages. Fine. If you're not sure to start, then just start blacking out the backgrounds. Ian, Didi, can you explain what the Society of Idea Collectors is, please, for those that don't know? Um, really, it's nothing nothing fancy. Uh, SOIC, hashtag SOIC, a Society of Idea Collectors, hashtag by Jean. Uh, and it's just, it's just ways to collect and we talk about, we show mind mapping, we show listing, we show different ways to collect ideas. That's essentially all it is, collecting ideas, whether it's in a notebook, a three ring binder, a traveler's notebook, a composition book. It's just some place, some book, some form of collecting your ideas. Yeah, Louise, just find a page and start, uh, start blacking out the background. If you're not sure where to start, just go through the book what page by page and, and black. It doesn't have to be black, be brown, green, whatever color you want. Um, that's why I call it reverse collage. This one, there's a video for this one. We did this one. I really like it. This one's in progress. See how I've just blacked out some areas? And I just highly recommend using golden matte medium. For one thing, if you use something like Mod Podge, it has it has a tendency to stick your pages together. Uh, this this nothing sticks here. There's no pages don't stick. Okay, even the ones that are varnished. As long as you let the varnish dry, this one's in progress. I'm really liking this one. This one's done and varnished. So you can see if they're real shiny, they've been varnished. See my little guy right there? I have my golden matte medium at the ready. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to work on a page so you can see again. But guys, if, you, if you've not ever seen me work on abandoned books or, you know, altered books, there's tons. I'm talking tons of videos. Tons of videos. On, and it's always the same process. It's just a different world. Like this one right here, all this is painted in. All the, all the stars, the planets, all that's added in. This is all paint. Down here, these were here. And then the water, this water really just completely went straight down. And I blocked out that water. I made the little waves. And, you know, to do something like this, it, you know, it does take some practice. You know, it will take you some practice, God. I'm not going to say, oh, you're just going to pick up a paintbrush and start painting waves, you know. But you can't, you got to start somewhere and you can't be, can't be a fearing. Can't be a fearing. <laughs> I always tell y'all that. If you, that's the number one thing that I think stops people's imagination and creativity. They think, oh, I'm going to mess it up. Well, if you mess it up, you can just paint the whole thing black and slap some more collage down on top of it. That's the worst. The worst that can happen is that you mess it up so much you hate it, paint the whole thing black again, cut some new images out, and <laughs> start over, right? But that will stop you more than anything, is being afraid you're going to mess it up. You know, so what if you mess it up even? Who cares? Just go to another page. Flip, like, look at this one. This is half, half idea going on. I have all this geometric geometry stuff I want to do here, but I haven't worked it all out in my head. I got this far with all this white lines with the Posca paint pen, all those white lines. I'm going to have all kinds of geometry in here. But, you know, hey, until it comes, you know, this one's done. It's not, it's not varnished yet. I did, did 
didn't me you freed me up yeah you just have to yeah you have to just try and it's just a it's just acrylic paint well you don't even have to buy another book Shauna just go to another page you know you got 300 pages or so in these books yeah 250 I'm not sure exactly but you got you you know keep one keep one to practice in you know if you're afraid you know This has just got some glue and a little bit of outlining that I want to do. Um, this one had these little people in there, and I just made it all like they're looking down into space on the edge. They're on the edge. I was teasing because you have so many. Oh. <laughs> uh. This one actually is from the Star Wars scene in Tanzania. Where they filmed the Star Wars home scene and then they abandoned it. This one's in progress. All this is paint. So I went with this color right here. This right here is not paint, right there. And this is not paint. All this is paint, and the whole sky is painted out. So you might start with, you know, something like that. All right, here's an example. I do not like this page at all. My idea for this was to have these feathers coming out and around this ship, and I didn't like it. I don't like it, and I'll probably never work on this page again. I can't say I'll never, but I don't like this page. But, you know, that's not going to stop me from going to a new page. <laughs> this one's in progress. This one's in progress. So, yeah. This one's done. There's a vi there's a video on this. <laughs> Thanks, Louise. Yeah, everybody has their favorites. This one's in progress. And some of my edges are starting to get a little worn uh, because I'm not real care I'm not extra careful with the varnish. I mean the uh, well the varnish too, but the matte medium. When you work on a page, you want to make sure and put wax paper behind because it doesn't take much. It doesn't take much matte medium to go over the edge and you'll glue your pages together. And then and the pages don't care if you already have started on them. <laughs> they'll still be, you know, the, they'll still show wear. Of course, you can just take some uh, ink, you know, some distress ink and just go over it with your finger or something. All right, so that's my abandoned places. But I think I want to work in abandoned castles because that's the giveaway. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do the giveaway. So that all y'all that have been sticking through this flip through for the last couple hours. And we'll work 10, 30, 11, 30. We got a couple hours to work, if need be, if we need a couple hours. Um. Okay, so I am going to work in this because um, I have I have the brand new copy that Sharon sent over to the side. So it's this same exact book, but with nothing, you know, it's brand new. So that's what we're going to give away, okay, is, is a copy of this. Now I'm going to repeat myself um, that all the giveaways that I do during the week, at least for with Hubster's schedule as it is now, um, all, all my happy mail, except envelopes that I have stamps for, you know, if it's an envelope of happy, you know, an art card or a disc or something like that, those I can just put in my mailbox. But if it has to be mailed, priority mail or shipped in a box or something like that, and of course, depending on, and again, I do international, um, I'm going, they'll be going out on Saturday. So like today's, like whoever wins this, it will not go out till Saturday. So don't be alarmed. Once I send it, if it's in state, once I send it priority, you should get it in three days. If it's international, we cross our fingers and hope for the best, right? So how the, how it works, I'll be getting my random.org going. How it works is wait till I type in go. When you see me type in go, then put in a number between one and 200. Okay, we got a little less than 200 here. Thanks for all the thumbs up, guys, on um, our stream anniversary. This is my eight years, eight years of um, eight years of streaming, four years of being on YouTube. 
So thanks for all the um, uh, subbies on YouTube and all from all that have come over here from Ustream. So thanks, guys. All right. So wait till I type in. One number only, please. If you see somebody else put in your number, it's the first person that put in. Do not put in a second number. You will be disqualified. That's our new rules. Some people put in two, three, four. No, don't do that. You get one number. So it's the first person closest to whatever random.org. Let me turn down the light so you can see it. Whatever, um, and here we have not picked a number yet. There's it's random.org, a little generate box here. And uh, I'm going to put in 1 to 200. The first person, well, not 2,000, 200. The first person closest without going over will get the book. Now, let me say this, guys. If you have no desire to do this project, if you have no desire to do abandoned books, you know, and you just want the book, that's fine. But, you know, <laughs> so yeah, just saying, this may not be the giveaway for you. All right, now we got to wait. Somebody put in a number. Um, we got to wait till that goes away. Do not put in numbers till I type in. <laughs> okay. We'll just wait because it gets it gets it rolling when somebody does it. Thank you, Julie Topaz. Thank you. <laughs> That's why we call it herding cats, people. Herding cats. <laughs> I mean, it's almost a joke now, right? Okay, now remember, one number only between 1 and 200. Now you can go. Now go. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You girls crack me up. And guys, well, there's a few guys, mostly girls, but. So, yeah, eight years of streaming. Thanks, Sharon, for the... Sharon also sent me some more Sharpie pens and markers. These are what I write, do all my note-taking, storytelling, writing with. I write with these. And then these are the pens that I use on stream because they show up. So, yeah, Sharon, Sharon must have heard me say I was running low. <laughs> uh -huh. Thank you, Bridget. So everybody put in a number. Don't wait too long. When I put in stop and I count it down, 10, 9, 8, when I, when I put in stop, no numbers after that count. So get them in now. Don't wait. Don't wait, people. I'm telling you, you'll miss out. Okay, let's see. That's my note on what kind of treats to get the cats from Eileen. <laughs> um. Don't wait, people. I don't want you to miss out. And then we'll work a little bit in the book. About an hour or so. We'll see how far we get. All right. Everybody get your number in. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, stop, stop, and stop. Okay. No numbers count after that. All right. Sorry, Tammy. <laughs> I tell you guys. Okay. So between one and 200. Here we go. We're going to generate 65. The, the person closest to 65 without going over. Okay. All righty. Nothing counts before my go and nothing counts after my stop. So 65. So my mods and everybody can go. Look, the first person, it's the first person. So if there's 10 people that put in 64, it's the first person. That's how it works, guys. This is the easiest way we can do it. <laughs> Uh, Gail, Gail had 64. Okay, so Gail, what was Gail's last name? Gail, I need to see a Gail. <laughs> Congratulations, Gail. All the girls are saying that you were the first one with 64. 
Let me get your full name. Gail AC. Okay, Gail AC. You need to email me like today. Email me your address. Okay. Yeah. Now, where do you live, Gail? I don't think I know. I don't think I've met you yet. Well, I mean, other than a couple of streams. So will I be mailing it in country or out of country? Uh, Indiana. Okay. That's okay. Then I'll, I will be sending it priority mail on Saturday. Okay. Um, priority mail on Saturday. So you should get it next, uh, next Monday or so. All right. So email me your address. Can somebody give, give Gail my email address, please? Okay, Gail. Congratulations. Oh, wait, this is the one I'm working in. Look, I'll put it on the new book. <laughs> So oh, here we go, Gail. Gail, we're going to put it on there. There we go. <laughs> All righty. So now you can take a lesson here, Gail. <laughs> and if you feel like doing it, I hope you will try it. I hope if you've not done any abandoned, I mean, uh, altered books, then I hope you'll give it a try because it really is fun. It really is fun. All right, so what I'm going to do, somebody was asking me about my collage bits. This is my current bin that I'm working out of. It's just a bin like this of all kinds of collage stuff. This is my current one. I have tons of these bins. I, I, I Big ones, wide ones, tall ones. I have tons of collage bins. And like I was saying earlier, I used to keep them in drawers um, you know, those plastic tower Michaels drawers. I used to keep them in those organized by category, but I found I was not using them. I wasn't, I wasn't using them. Uh, other than I know that I like, you know, my watches and clocks, which I have books and magazines of those. Other than specific things like that, or um, just a few things, like if I really want to flower something, and I think I even have a, a stack of it in, in here. I find that I just use it more and better. No, I don't do anything. Well, I shouldn't say I don't do anything digital, um, Ian. I do a little bit of Procreate on the iPad, but not much. Uh, I, I really would love to learn Digi. Uh, but I would want to once you once I throw myself into learning something, I want to I do it full on. So uh, and I usually spend four years on anything I want to learn. I have calligraphy. I did scrapbooking. I did, you know, painting, oil painting, uh, art journaling, whatever it is that I want to learn to do. Altered books. I usually spend four years learning it. I don't feel like I have four years not while I'm streaming and doing painting and commissions and my other projects that I have that I want to do. I don't feel like I have four years to learn Digi. <laughs> That's just the way I look at it. I, I, I won't, you know, well, I should say if maybe if I had a really good teacher to teach me how to do it, like sit down right with me and like, then I could pick it up. I, I just don't have the time. I don't have the time to learn it well. So other than, I mean, I do a little Photoshop, you know, altering some pictures and photos and, you know, I can do that and do a little bit of Procreate. But yeah, I would love to do Digi in the fact that I could create these worlds much more accurately that I see them in my head than I can with pen, with uh, paper, right? Um, I've seen some awesome things that Eileen the Enabler Elf has done with Digi. And, and I think, oh, man, I could, I'd love to make a world like this or that or the other that I know I could make so much better if I knew Digi. Yeah, exactly. There's a learning curve. Um, and, and I just haven't taken the time. I mean, I pick up a little bit. What the heck? <laughs> Did N just put in a number? <laughs> And bless your heart, I, she's either really lagged <laughs> or she has her volume turned off. Love you, Anne. <laughs> I know, right, Terry? Okay, we're not laughing at you, Anne. We're laughing at the lag. Trust me, we know how to embrace the lag. If y'all were with us on our first four years on Ustream, well, really, you know, even after that, because like I said, streaming for eight years, the first four years only on Ustream, and then the last four years uploading from Ustream to YouTube, and then since June, just doing straight live YouTube. Yeah. 
<laughs> okay, good. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let me let me make sure I got it here. Well, I don't see it yet. I don't see your email. So make sure you got my right email. And I see a couple people sent me some um, a, a, some um, uh, PayPal tip jar. Thank you, guys. If you send me, yeah, if you send me a tip jar or super chat me, also let me know your address because I send you out a, a little thank you piece of art or something um, if you've sent me a PayPal tip jar or a super chat. So make sure you guys email me, okay, if you do. Yeah, somebody type in my email again, make sure Gail got it, because I didn't see it. It doesn't want to send? I don't know about that. Can I put my number in now? No, no, Ian. I know you have the answer to everything with your 42, Ian, but no. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, so now what I just have is I have bins and bins of collage stuff right bins and bins and bins of stuff and i just kind of go through and pick it out um depending on you know what picture i i i don't know i don't really have a, a method to the madness other than just what i can kind of visualize from the picture i like space i like water i like waterfalls i like stars i like time i like those elements and i know sometimes it gets like oh you got you got clocks and watches and everything well yeah yeah i do <laughs> <laughs> oh, so anyway, so um, I'm not sure. Oh, I do like this. I could probably make these go together. Hmm, maybe we'll go with these two guys. I'm kind of liking that. All right, so let's just let's just kind of roll with it because I don't want to take too much time deciding. I mean, I, I like all of them. So, all right, so I'm going to put some wax paper behind each page. As I paint out, and we'll get started. Okay, I just heard something click, so I might have it in now. Okay, I got it. I got your I got your email. Okay, I got it. Thank you, Gail. It'll go out Saturday, okay? Like I said, my mail. Oh, I got that little this little thing stuck in there for some reason. I guess I wanted that in. Maybe we'll use this over here though. Maybe we'll use that. Okay. <laughs> it was sent. I got it, Gail. I saw it. All right. So now what I usually do is start out with a little bit of finger painting. Now I'm not going to prop my book up now because I don't want to get this all messed up. All right. So I'm going to get out a few tools here. I usually use just, um, these are just coffee lids for palettes. And I have small ones and large ones, you know, different sizes. It's a little piece of glue. Oh, it's over there. All right. I use a card to smash down the collage with. Um, let me get out some black. And let's start with just some black paint. This one's almost empty. I've got a couple here. I'm going to have to another refills. Um, and I think I'm going to go with blue and uh, like this amber color, like a, a yellow ochre color. Of course, you know, like nobody knows I like those color combinations, right? <laughs> I'll tell you all the names of the colors in a minute. Let's see. Mm, that might be a little too rusty color. I like this color. No, no. no, no yeah. Oh, here we go. No, that's not the color either. Like this color. And maybe a brown. That's too red. Let's see here. here we go. Mm. All right. Let's start with this and probably some white. All right. So I'm going to start with these colors. <laughs> Bye, Gail. Thank you. I'm glad you won. Especially like newbies to win. All right, so before I start doing any collage, you know, I'm going to get rid of all the excess white. Why is this glare right there? I might have to prop it up on something. 
Right, let's see, because it is a little flash. There's, I mean, the um, reflective light there. Let's see. I'll have to, if y'all will remind me, I will show you. Here's one of my big ones. Here's one of my huge posters that I've done in the same way that I did this. If y'all will remind me, well, I'll set it to the side. But sometimes I always say, oh, I'll show you this at the end of the show. And then I forget. So I'll, I'll, when I back the camera out, I'll try to remember to show you that poster. Hi, Kia. Anybody else I'm missing? Thanks, guys, for being here. All right. So here we go. I think we're zoomed in just about right. So I'm going to start with... A little bit of blue, um, a little bit of black. A couple of these are running low. I got to go to Hobby Lobby and replace them. They always have sales. I always go to the sale. Okay. A little bit of white. And my two. Okay. Oh, so the blue, this is black and white, and the blue is Blue Harbor. And then these, the yellow and the brown, I have uh, antique gold, although it's not gold. Uh, yellow ochre and antique gold are almost exactly the same. There is actually a gold, shiny metallic gold that they have. But um, antique gold is just like a yellow ochre. It's no, not metallic. The other thing is metallic paints, you can't really pencil over them. Like when I use acrylic paints, and then this brown is dark chocolate. Uh, when I use acrylic paints in color books, you cannot uh, paint. I mean, I use matte, just plain matte acrylic paint, not metallics, because metallics, satin, and gloss, you cannot pencil over. You're really, yeah, we know you're lagged, Danny. <laughs> Bless her heart. <laughs> Is anybody else lagged? Or are we pretty good? All right, so I'm going to roll my sleeves up just a little bit here. And uh, I'm going to start finger painting. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'll start over here with this blue. Now I'm going to make sure that my, um, I'll just move my wax paper up and down and side to side just so the edges. See, this is, this is left over from painting this page, right? From painting this page. Okay, so you can see I probably didn't have enough wax paper. I wasn't careful, so it kind of leaked over. All right, so I'm going to start with the blue, and I'm just going to finger paint this out. Okay, now when it gets in the crack here, in the crevice of the book, you do, you almost have to have a paintbrush because you can't get down in there. Let me wet this. It's hard to get down in there. So I'll just go ahead and do that real quick. So I'm going to go ahead and put some blue down in here. I'm going to have this be black down here. And then let me go to the brown just to get in the crevice of both sides. Okay. And you can see how it doesn't completely cover with one coat on the shiny the shiny paper. Now you can do a couple different ways. You can matte medium. You can put your matte medium on the whole thing to start, but I don't really find it's necessary to put a coat of matte medium before gluing my collage elements. Cause when I glue the collage elements, I'm slapping that matte medium over the whole thing anyway. So it's almost like putting two coats of matte medium and you really don't need to do that. As long as you get matte medium over everything when you're gluing things down, okay? A real battle with choosing between yellow ochre and burnt sienna in my light earth color. I like to mix them both in, in, okay. All right, so let me, now I'm going to pick up the brown here. Let's get, make sure my wax paper's all the way at the top. Try to stay in camera. I probably shouldn't have had so many bracelets on today. Okay, so now I'm just going to get both colors. Look, I just make a mess here. A lot of finger painting. I got to tell you guys, I had so much fun painting those uh, Wizard of Oz characters <laughs> that day. The day we did the Wizard of Oz. Remember on the big scroll? Oh, my gosh. I had so much fun with that. 
I have to do that again. More, more, more scroll painting on the scroll. I love that. Okay, so I'm just putting a lot of paint here and just kind of whatever I think looks good. <laughs> okay, maybe a little brown right there. I'll have to get in there with the brush. That was cool. <laughs> yeah, I love doing that. Great. Uh, oh, and yeah. Oh, um, uh, no, not no. That's not the right name, Ian. Uh, what was his name? Gort. Gort. <laughs> the, the robot Gort. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna come down here a little bit there. I think I need. I want a little more brown there. A little more brown, and I think actually some black. So let's go back over here to black now. Oh, and the other tool that I like besides my fingers is baby wipes. Gotta have baby wipes. Baby wipes are like the magic tool. They're like the magic tool. <laughs> mm -mm. Yeah, Gort, yeah. All right, and I gotta be careful because I'm sliding. See, look, right there. See how I slid this wax paper underneath and got it on there? Not that it really matters because it'll all get painted over anyway. But just FYI, if you're moving your wax paper around, be careful not to slide it up underneath. All right, so I'm going to have all this black down here. Let's go along the bottom here. Oh, I'm hearing a truck. There's no mail today. Okay, and this is going to be black on this side too. So. All right, so I'm just going to kind of get it started here. All right, now I might take a minute and dry this. You have plenty of those, those toddler days? Toddler days. I'm not sure what toddler. All right, so there's that. Now let me dry this. And I do go through a lot of baby wipes. And you also can see here, oops. My poster's wrapped up in that. Uh, why my heat gun looks like this. Because my hands look like this. My heat gun looks like this. <laughs> baby wipes. I knew we meant to get something in this one. Ah, yeah. I gotta have the baby wipes. And sometimes you might need two coats. This is on there really thick, guys. I mean, like fingerfuls of paint. Very thick. And sometimes, after I, it's usually I try to get rid of the borders and the sidebars, and then I'll glue uh, any collage elements down, and then it's more paint. More paint after that. So this is just like an initial getting rid of the white paper. No, not yet. I mean, you can, Susie. No, I don't usually put the matte medium on uh, initially. You can, but to me, and this is just because I know where I'm going and I know it's a waste because by the time I, because I use this, the matte medium is also my glue. So it's when I'm doing the gluing stage that I put the golden matte medium on because I'm using it also as a glue. So I just don't find a need to put it on first. It will get rid of the shine. It would get rid of the shine of your page, but I'm going to add it on in a little bit. So I just pretend it's not shiny for a minute <laughs> because I know I'm going to glue stuff down. And it's when I'm gluing my little collage elements down that the matte medium gets slopped over everything, right? Okay, so now let's go to this side and just get rid of the blue again here. All right, so I'm going to get a little bit of black and a little bit of blue. I want it a little bit gray. Now, I have a choice here. I can make this two separate pages, or I can make them blend into one. 
So I'm trying to decide if what I want to do. Do I want like this? The sky is getting dark over here. I think I'm going to do that. So I'm going to imagine that. I'm going to imagine that the sky is really blue and then it's getting dark. Okay, so I'm going to add. And this is this is to make the pages blend together. Okay, this is to make the pages blend together. I mean, I otherwise I could make it like two separate worlds, but I want them to be co. I'm going to make the worlds blend together. All right. And again, to get down in the crack there, you might have to get. A, I probably have to get a brush down in there. It's a little tricky. All right, so that's far enough with the blue. I think I'm going black now. Okay, because I might have I might have a mist coming over here some water so you see how it looks with just finger painting yeah okay now let's do black okay let me move my Maybe a little more blue coming through here. <laughs> Gotta have the sound effects. <laughs> all right, so let's just get all this blacked out here. I have stars going on down here. Okay, maybe just a little bit of this coming across here. Maybe a little bit of white. When I do that, I'm talking to myself, not to you. I'm not telling y'all to shush. I'm I'm in my head going just like shh. shh. <laughs> all right, so now let's go up here with some more blue. Let's get rid of all the white. Okay. Now I'm gonna clean my hands off because I want to get my hands into white. So let me clean off this. I go through a lot of baby wipes, guys, a lot of baby wipes. <clears throat> okay we still with the tour let me check chat here all right now let's go back over here to a little bit of i'm gonna pull up a little bit of white over here all right now Back in camera. Okay. Okay. I'll use a baby wipe. Maybe a baby wipe. Still with the tour? Okay. I'm going to mix up a little bit of white. And the reason I do it like this is I'm mashing the paint into the baby wipe. Okay. It's mashing it into the baby wipe. Let's just get an initial little swirl started here. That'll be the background. All right, let me dry. Let me get let me dry everything here.
You like the sound effects? <laughs> kind of just make it a little fun, right? And a heat gun, I mean, you don't have to have one, but you'd be sitting here for a while to make, to for all that paint to dry. Okay, so if you can if you can get a heat gun, I would recommend a heat gun. If you're going to do a lot of this, if you're going to do a lot of altered books and stuff, you really need a heat gun. Do wonderful space installation, but once in a while, it does really good to some earthy stuff. <laughs> well, there, there's going to be stars here, just saying. <laughs> Oh, but yeah, I like I like to do a little bit of other stuff every now and then. It depends on really what I find in my collage elements and how much time I have. You know, it, it, it just depends on those factors. Like now, I'm going to splash. I'm going to get um, a bucket of stars, and to keep a bucket of stars, I just add a little bit of white paint. Get rid of the paint chips and some water. And a floppy brush. Oh, I like these um, calligraphy brushes. And I just, you know, get it real floppy and wet. I pour a little bit in there. And a lot of more water than it. It's real inky, right? Okay. And the more you tap on the same, it's the same brushful, the more you tap on it, the lighter and lighter and smaller and smaller the stars get. Okay. So I'm going to start with that. And out this brush. All right. Let's dry again. Yep, it does get hot. Boo started using a heat gun though as soon as she could hold a hold a pencil. Um probably have used a toothbrush splatter at some point. But I don't really feel like I need to, Louise. You just got to saw, you know, anything that's a floppy, you know, it's floppy will work. But, yeah, if you feel better, the only thing about a toothbrush, especially since I'm literally six inches from my laptop, you got to really have a controlled splatter. Otherwise, you know, literally like, look, I'm touching my laptop right there. That's how <laughs> I don't want it all over lappy. Got your yellow ochre, maybe? Okay. I got a new picture. So I should, okay. I got to have, have to have a Nana moment. Nana moment. Nana moment. Denise sent me a new picture of Boo. Let's see. Let me move it over to my pictures real quick. I want to see a new picture of Boo. Y'all have been knowing Boo since she was, let's see, eight years old. She was six? No, seven. I think she was six or seven when I first started streaming. Right? Bye, great. Where's my picture there? Hang on. Got a whole bunch of monk clothes pictures. Because I'm working on my story. Let me crop out her friend there. You'll probably see just the edge of her friend. But I'm going to crop out her friend. <laughs> okay. All right. Let me turn down the light. There we go. So this is my granddaughter. 
There's my boo. There's my booster. I call her my boo. Everybody goes, why do you call her boo? Because she's tiny. She's my little tiny boo. <laughs> so, yeah. I know. I can't believe how she's so grown up. She's all grown up. <laughs> yeah, she does. They do resent. Yeah, her and Denise. Yeah. Okay. Now. Uh, I, I think these need a little bit more dry. Mm -hmm. I know y'all have watched them grow up. Since we're celebrating our eight years together, y'all. All right, so now let's see what do I want to do. Yes, it's okay. I could probably use just a little bit of get a little more blue on the brush. Let's get down there in the crevice. And again, don't close your book when it's wet down in the crevice there. You'll glue your pages shut. Okay. All right. Um, not as much, Connie. Yeah, she's not doing the cheer as much. She's not doing the traveling cheer. She just, there's no time. Nobody has time to do the traveling, you know. Oh, thanks, Jackie. Yeah. Uh, hey, Joey, how you doing? All right, so let's see. Do I want to stop and do a little gluing? Do I want to do a little more painting? I kind of want a little bit more. I want to do a little bit more. This is not, this is just not, not the star paint because it's not, the star paint's watered down. This is not watered down here. But I need, I want some swirly things going on up here, I think. That looks too much like fingers. I don't want it to look that perfect. It has to be more splotchy. I want it to swirl, but kind of not perfect swirl. So this one's going to come into that window and out the back. Okay. It's too, too much there. I want it to swirl. Let's see here. I want it to swirl this way. Like the idea of making the pages look like one. Yeah. I use those called volleyballs crazy. How far they have to pull it, go to play. I know, right, Connie? <laughs> I know, right? How far they have to go to play these sports, right? All right. So now this one comes down. Whoops, I want this. All right. So. I'm going to make it thinner and lighter because it's farther away. Okay, then this side I want a little bit more. Maybe something like that. Get my background done here. Okay, this swirl is too thick. Oops, I scraped off some of the paint. All right, let's roll with that. Let's, let's kind of roll with that scrapey bit. 
um, hi, Cindy. All right, so I want this to be more. It's perfect. I want that to be a swirl up there. So when I do my monk's mail story, I will probably have some illustrations in it. You know, not uh, not full on like it's not going to be like a, every page is illustrated because it's going to be an illustrated story because I don't know that I have a I don't know if I have in my head I have nine books, but I don't think I have nine books in me. <laughs> no cat on here today. So I'm thinking that uh, I'm going to have to figure out how how much of a. Uh, how much I want to um, illustrate it, you know? Okay, that's two. I need to get rid of that. A little. I want it to swirl, but that's too big. So we'll see. All right, that blue. Now I've got to have a little bit of this blue. I'm just, I'm kind of seeing this in my head. All right, let me dry this, guys. I need to dry this. Hi, Nick. Oh, Villarica? Who's from Villarica? Villarica, Georgia? Mama Four? So I don't know how much um, I'll just ink it or will I paint it? The story, my monk's mail. I don't know if I'll ink it or if I'll paint it. You're in, are you, Mama Four, are you visiting Villa Rica? Why do I keep hearing a mail truck? There's no mail today. Um, are, you, are you visiting? Thank you, Sarah. They cannot be a vacation. Does the white help spread the paint? Yes, it does. Though so it's like another paintbrush for me, newbie Cheryl. Yeah, the the and it's damp. It's not dried out. It's wet. It's a wet baby wipe. Okay, I gotta look at my window. Hang on, something's going on. What's going on there? I'm not sure. All right. Now, now, let's see what I want to do here. Oh, for the football turn, tournament, you're probably about an hour and a half away from me, Mama Four. It's yucky, though, isn't it, today? Pouring down rain. Oh, thank you, Connie. All right. Thanks, everybody. And thanks, everybody, for being here to celebrate our eighth stream anniversary, eight years. Okay, I'm going to move the wax paper for now because I'm not on the edges. And that's what you really have to worry about. Okay, let's see if we got the light. Is that light okay? Um, okay, let's see. I'm going to want some more swirls and more. Let's see, where's my white pasta? Let's see if this one's working. Okay, because I know I'm going to want to make sure that this is... you got to kind of just know how much to blend and how much to let stand because it can get too cartoony if you're not careful gotta have um just gotta be careful about how you're thinking about this you know anything like this because you want to still keep it thin and see that's too much that that back swirl needs to be lighter 
I might have to do that with the button. Now it needs thin. Because I want it to look like it's swirling around. Left for a minute. What pen were you using? It's a Posca. It's a Posca paint pen. It's acrylic paint. Oh. It's acrylic, acrylic paint. And there's different size nibs. This one is, I think it's called fine, but I think there's extra fine too. Yeah, got to keep it subtle. Yes. Yes, Catherine. Okay. And then this side. Let's see, I'm going to have to stand up because I don't have to turn the books. So let me stand up because I want this to be. Again, subtle. And then it's going to come out from behind here. I'm going to have some things glued in here. So I'll just leave it at this for a minute. Where's my white? Is this the one that had the white in it? Okay. <clears throat> I want it to start looking like a swirl, but it's gotta be, it's gotta be subtle. It's a little, a little flashed out. I don't want to get it too dark though, so I'll leave, I'd rather have it a little on the too light side. All right, now I've got to think about some different things. Now this is the planet that we started with, which I need to trim down just a little. And I like using marbles for planets, but if you don't have a marble, if you've lost all your marbles, If you lost all your marbles, you can punch them. Let me show you. Where's the other one? Of course, you can hand cut. You can fussy cut out with the template, you know, like the template I was using for those uh, discs. But if you have some punches, <clears throat> I'll just show you how you can make some planets. Well, let me just pull some random something out of here. I don't know. This is a little too, maybe this in right in here, maybe. Let's test that color a little bit out. Okay, so yeah, maybe right in, in there. We'll, we'll see. I might not like this color, but all right. So you can use stuff like this for planets. <clears throat> I'm not sure I'm liking this big moon. It may be too um, moonish. <laughs> Maybe if I covered that one up with this one. And see, I'm not liking that blue edge. Let me turn it the other way. It's a little better. You lost those marbles years ago. Terry, are you okay being here still, girl? Girl. So you can use punches, you know, to make planets. All right, so I'm kind of liking that. All right, now let me see about some watch parts. This one might be a little too much. I had some smaller ones sitting out, but I don't know what I did with them now. Let's test this one. So I'm going to cut this one down. Okay. All right. Just checking. So I'm just cutting this one down. And I may just do one element of time. Maybe this tower needs to have the element of time to it. Let's see. Let's cut it in half and see. It's going to be too big. 
too big and too light. I need something to. <clears throat> I'm like, here's some marbles, like, you know, it's a page of marbles. These make awesome planets. Actually, kind of like that color better, but I like the idea of the, bringing the yellow over. I enjoy watching you gotta go. Bye. Bye, Caroline. Thank you. It was nice to meet you. Thanks for being here. I'm just digging in my big box over here. Oh, I like this little bit of stained glass. <gasps> Ooh, I might need to put that in here. This needs to be not so harsh at the top. I think that's going to have to go there. Let me trim down this side. See, I'm just picking out random things out of my collage bin. I'll match it up better when I glue it down. And then you go back and paint things back in again. And that and when I when I glue it down is when the matte medium gets put over everything. And then you can always just add more, you know, more paint. Okay, kind of liking that right about there. All right, let's keep digging. Let's see, I still need an element of my watch. That might be too dark. Eh, maybe not. It might be too big, though. I need something a little smaller. Ah, oh, this one has a little yellow in it. Let's go with this. Let's roll with this piece. I can trim that down to where I'd like it. Hmm. See, I need it to fit in between. I need it to fit in between those two. One to, on the column. All right, so if I put it like right there, then I can trim. Let's get the right angle here. I should probably make a mark. Where's my angle? Okay. Bye, Terry. Oh, wait, Terry. Are you leaving? Wait, Terry. Terry. Wait, I got to give you your send off. Our anniversary, our eight-year anniversary, Terry. We've been together. Well, I think you and I have just been together seven years, Terry. <laughs> Let me get my soundboard. Here we go. Let me turn it up. Hang on. <laughs> have a good one, Terry. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. Let's see. Do I want anything else down here? I don't know. It doesn't really need a lot. I'm liking the way it's looking, guys. Kind of well, we could always have, let's add Clint Eastwood. Should we? No. <laughs> I'm liking this because it ha coordinates with those colors, but it's a little much. We might keep another simple page. I don't know. Might be another simple page. I got bits of stencil, too. I'm kind of looking at color now, guys. Like this, too. I'm liking something like this. Oh, there's another. There's another knight. We need him. We need that knight. He needs to be over here. Let's see how we can incorporate him over here. Oh, 
Okay. One and a half years you've been there, Connie. Go ahead, make my day. <laughs> I know, right, guys? <laughs> I hear the cat out there. She wants to come in so bad. This is too, this would have to be some kind of supplemental element, and it's really thick. It's like a piece of stencil. I'm not sure I want this in here, but kind of like him peeking out from behind there. Or maybe it just needs to be behind. Kind of like, okay, I'm going to let her in. We'll see how this rolls. Hang on, baby. I'm going to let you in. There you go. I know you want in here. She's going to want to get up here, though. That's the problem. Got to move the paint. There's no treats. In the, oh, the, yeah, the treats still are there. Let me take these treats out of here, guys. Because they'll be, she'll be hauling them off in her mouth. go all right let's see all right hang on guys i'm working it i'm working it how long time is it's 11 30 we're good something out of the front door which front door this front door right there maybe I'm going to get this stuff glued down first. I'm not sure if I like that flower. I kind of do. I'm Because I think what it is, I'm liking the color. But it's kind of trying to balance it out so you kind of go around the page. I think if it was just a little bit there, that would be okay. Hmm. But it doesn't need to look like it's coming out from behind a window. Yeah, it's just bothering me. I, I'm, I'm liking the color. I think I'll just... Paint in some red. All right, let's see. All right, now I got my monks going there. So, so I got all kinds of stained glass. All right, what else do I have? I'm just I'm over here digging through my collage bits. All right, do I need? I don't think I need this, but I love me some arches around my characters. Any arch. I don't think it needs it because of the building. See, they're digging. They're digging in the. They're digging into the uh, treats. Let me turn this down. And it, is this like an auxiliary element of time here? Bye, Lena. This is giving me a whole way of War of the Roses vibe. Don't, don't, little princess, don't, don't chew up my poster. I'm going to show the girls my poster, you know, and guys, but. Okay, so I'm kind of liking this right here. I know it's subtle, but. Would y'all please get out of stuff? You don't need a post-it note, for goodness sake. The treats are gone out of there. I moved the treats. No treats in there. You just have a treat. All right, let's see. Here's some more bits of stencil. See, I like these. I like these little bits of stencil. All really, people? Really? No. No. Now y'all are going to have to go back outside. I mean, out of the room. <laughs> I won't walk you outside. It's too rainy. <laughs> oh my gosh, I know. The post is stuck to her behind. No, that was a piece of tape, Karen. That was a piece of tape. Remember? <laughs> okay, I like that. I like that bit of 
I like that bit of texture right there, right next to them. Okay, so I'm going to go with that. <laughs> Make this tower, and it'll be more exactly where I want it when I go to glue it here. Hell yeah. All right. I'm still digging a little bit more, a little bit more uh, leftover bits of stencil. Where's Paula? <laughs> Where's Paula? She would be laughing at me gluing bits of stencil. All right. Go back up there where you're supposed to be. So I'm wanting some red over here more than just that. Maybe this needs to be, I don't know, might be a little too. I like things subtle. And when it starts being like, oh, look, scream, it's too much, you know, sometimes can be too much. I'm trying to just get a transition. Mama, no treat. I gave him a treat when I just ran him out a minute ago. I gave him a treat, guys. Jeez. I think I'm a mean cat mama. I gave him a treat while I was out there. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Little bits of crunchy leftover crunchy stencil. Let's see how much we can use it. See, you just never know, right? <laughs> you just never know what you might need. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, let's pick that off there. That doesn't really show up. I have to put some red on it and some gold on the other side. Let's see. It's very, it's too, that's almost too subtle. It needs some red on it. Let's see. I need to get out some, a little bit of red. Seriously, are you walking off with a, I'm walking off with another. Uh. I don't want purple. These are too purple. Oh, I need a maroon. There we go. Okay, so I will put a little bit. I'm going to start gluing things down here, guys, just a minute. I'm going to put a little bit of red. Wait, this is the piece that's down there. Where's the piece I had for up here? Oh, here. Yeah. Let's see. Like this way. Okay. So I'm just going to kind of put a little bit of maroon on it. Just so it stands up for, away from the building. <laughs> no, they don't go outside. They don't go outside without their harness. There we go. Now it stands out. Okay, now this one, it needs just a little bit more maroon down here. Let's darken it up. Okay. Now that looks so orange right there. I might have to paint that orange out. Let's put a little bit more maroon on the edge. Okay, just a, just a touch. Just kind of tying it all together. All right. All right, I think I'm ready to glue now. I'm looking it over, and I'm kind of, I'm just kind of liking that's kind of subtle, you know, not overdone. Although I do feel like it needs some more numbers going around there. I might have to do that with a stamp. All right, let's go ahead and glue. All right, let me move this off the table. I know she's going to want to jump up here. So as I move this bin of collage. All right, let's now to glue, let me get another little, another little tray here. Oh my gosh, they're circling that basket. They're literally circling it. <laughs> All right, so what I use is golden matte medium. It looks like this. There's how it looks, golden matte medium. And it comes in different size jars. But I pour mine into a dish soap, you know, dish squeezable. 
And this is from Sun, the idea came from Sunset Carol. And I think, uh, Janet, you do this too, don't you now? Put your matte medium or some kind of glue. I forget which kind you use. Is it the matte medium too that you put in your jar? In a, what do you call it? A Dawn dish soap. All right. I see you, children. I see you. I know. You've eaten. You've had treats. You just want me to pet. You want me to pet you. Mama's busy for a minute. Just give me a few more minutes. All right. So now I'm going to give me a glue brush. Uh, a glue brush is, a, these are just brushes I keep in water. They're the only brushes I keep in water. And they're made just for gluing. Okay. You're back. Oh, welcome back, Nick and Tina. I know, right? Because it never, as long as you just every now and then make sure this isn't crusted over. I mean, it's like, it's, you don't ever have to worry about it drying out and the lid sticking or anything like that. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and start. By gluing down these elements right where I had no baby you can't get up on mama's table right now we I'm gonna have to run them out I think okay so let me just kind of move that I'm gonna put down the matte medium and then I put it on the back no 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 And then over the top. Now these big, these are chunkier pieces right here with more texture. So they're going to need a little bit more finessing. Because I don't usually glue much things with texture on my pages. And, you know, these are a little crunchy stencils. So we'll see how this goes. I probably have to work it down a little bit better. Okay, and a little bit extra for these chunky bits. We'll see. If, I might even have to use some Eileen's tacky on these. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if this is going to, I mean, I can make it stick if I sit here and hold it for five minutes. But I might just go ahead and do some Eileen's tacky glue on these stencil bits to make them really. And this one just a little too big. Let me snip that off right there. We'll see how it goes. All right, so let's do the moons. Let's do that one first right there. And this one. Right. And then you mash it down with a card. So there's no wrinkles. In this case, I think I'm going to have to get out a thicker glue. We'll see how that goes. Okay. And my big round. And this stuff is hard to get off your hands, just so you know. Okay, now let me look at chat. I guess I'm not missing anything. <laughs> yeah, all right, let's see. Maybe if I dry it, we'll see how it goes when I dry this. These stencil bits, because they want to lift up just a little. All right, let's give this, let's give this a dry. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. I want to do one more thing. I want to go ahead and go over the buildings here. And you can, this is where you can map medium over the whole thing. If you want to, if you're going to add any pencil, you know, that might help. I just really want to make sure my buildings are uh, workable. The rest is okay. All right, let me dry this.
Thanks everybody for being here. I should do a quiz question giveaway. First person that answers a quiz question. Those are easy because it's just the first person that answers the question. <laughs> no numbers, no herding cats. Just a random question. Give a couple of packs of uh, post-it notes away. And now I gotta go back in here with some more paint. Yeah, so these stencils might be a little thick. I'm making them work, though. I'm making them stick. But they just keep wanting to pull away, you know. All right. Now I want to... Let me put my this up so I have room. Need a couple of stamps. Let's see. Let's see. This is not very thick. What is numbers? Hang on, I'm looking for some numbers that I want to use. Let's see. Those are too thick. I'm looking through my little ammo cases of letters. I'm thinking I might go with these. These numbers right here. They'll be subtle. So if you have these little stamps, these little rubber stamps, these little ammo cases are perfect. Okay, that's Paula's idea. All right, let's see. Um... You said your chat, have, have you used your chat box? Oh, you mean the questions? Well, no, but that's not really a question that, those are more open-ended idea, you know, it's not an exact like, you know, what's the number of X, Y, Z, the first person that tells me, that, that kind of question for a giveaway question, you know. I have to think of a question that um, that there's an answer to. Like, I can't say, what's your favorite color? And you say blue. Well, that's not an answer to, to a, you know what I mean, Vern? All right. Um, okay, I got one. Are y'all on your toes? Are you on your toes? Get ready. I'm going to ask a question that most of y'all could probably answer, but it's the first person. So get your typing shoes on. <laughs> All right. Y'all ready? <laughs> Who says, not the real life person, but the character? What is the character in the, in the, in the movies? What is the character's name that says, Know what I mean, Vern? What's his name? Know what I mean, Vern? What's his name? Okay. Kimberly557. There we go. See? That was easy. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Kimberly557. Okay. Kimberly. <laughs> You were not first. Word. Kimberly. All right, Jean. Kimberly showed up first on my end. Y'all have to trust me. I'm being honest. You were second, Jean. 
So I'm going to give you one pack, Jean. You can pick one. Jean gets one post-it note. I'm going to give Kimberly three post-it notes. <laughs> okay, so would you cats get out of post-it notes? Seriously. Okay. All right. All right. Here we go. I'm going to show up lots of post-it notes. Okay. I'm going to send Jean this one. Jean gets the wink, wink. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This is what makes the show so fun. Okay. So, Jean, Jean's going to get a wink. A wink and a nod, Jean. <laughs> Oh, Jean. <laughs> okay, Jean gets the, you're going to get one, Jean. I'm going to give Kimberly three because seriously, she was first. I don't care if you believe me. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to give Kimberly the donuts and the coffee and I'll give her a coffee cup. I don't even know if she likes coffee. She's going to get one of those. <laughs> All right, Kimberly, we're giving you coffee and donuts. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, Jean. No, seriously, Jean, I'm going to take a screenshot, too. No, I'm just going to take a picture. Oh, wait, wait. Where is it? I'm going to just take a... I got to show Jean. Oh, my gosh, Jean. Jean, you're on my last nerve, girl. I'm going to get my camera out. Let me find it. Let me scroll back to where the answer was. Where is the answer? Where? How far back was it? Oh, wait. Okay. All right. I just took a screeny too, Jean. Oh my gosh, Jean. You are cracking me up. Oh my gosh, Jean. Seriously? All right. Wait a minute. Let me get my photos. Let me get past little boo. Okay, Jean. Look, Jean. Kimberly is right over you. Look. Just to prove you. Does everybody see that? Does everybody see where Kimberly is right above sassy pants, Jean? Kimberly, Jean. Jean, you're lucky I'm sending you a smile and a wink. <coughs> Cat's up here now. Okay, let me take. This. All right. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so Kimberly557, email me your address again. I probably have it, but just email it to me. It makes it easier for me. <laughs> so Kimberly's getting coffee and donuts. Thanks to Jean. Email me, Kimberly, okay? Jean, Jean's getting a wink, wink. <laughs> oh, my God. Sharon didn't know we were going to have so much fun with her stuff today, did she? <laughs> Jean, seriously, I, I believe yours showed up first for you, but I'm going by what I saw in mine. And you were second, girl. <laughs> okay. Let's see now. Let's see. Let me dry. I think that's good. It looks like it's sticking. <laughs> All right. Oh, my gosh. Let me dry some more. We're about to wrap this up, people. We're about to wrap this up. <laughs> I hope y'all had fun. I'm going to do giveaways uh, the rest of the month for our uh stream of you know eight year stream anniversary Jean's just lucky she's been around seven and a half years that's all i gotta say <laughs> all right let me pick up these paints real quick so we have some space all righty all right, let me put away the paint the um what do you call oh my gosh are you bringing me a toy you want me to throw your little toy oh my gosh you children are just missing your mama aren't you you want my full attention 
because your daddy's not here to distract. <laughs> uh, see you two chat messes up just like Eastern used to. Yeah, but it's not that bad, Jean. Seriously, this is nowhere near the lag situation and all that that Ustream was. It will be eight years in December. Oh, eight years. So you only missed it by a month. Okay. So it's almost your stream anniversary. You can do a stream anniversary and stream a thon. And for those of y'all that don't know, let me go ahead and say this too. Gene organizes every year. Gene organizes. I'm kind of waiting for these to really set up. Gene organizes every year the stream a thon. So New Year's Eve, she usually makes me start it off <laughs> at like 7.30 in the morning Eastern on New Year's Eve. And we go through the day and throughout the world. Everybody takes an hour or two. Jean sets it up to however, however she straightens it out and gives us all a time slot. <clears throat> and so for, um, oh, that's still... Did I glue that down? Let me get, let me put a little bit. Where's my glue? Where's my glue? What do I do with my glue? Oh, um, I'm going to put a little bit behind this. I missed a, I missed a spot there. And uh, so we have a stream -a -thon on New Year's Eve that goes around the world from Australia to UK, Canada, and it's all around the world. So there's a 12, is it how many hours, Jean? 20, 20 hours of stream -a -thon? All total, I have to remind, Jean has to remind me every time I ask. <clears throat> and so it's really fun. It's like a stream hop. So we go from streamer to streamer to streamer on New Year's Eve for, I think it's 20 hours. Yeah, they do, don't they, Julie Topaz? All right, so let me go ahead and get a little bit more paint on this. I don't know what made possess me to put on uh, stencils, but <laughs> they just look good when they fell there. All right, so let's see. Let me get a smaller brush here. A smaller brush. Digging through my brushes. Here we go. We start at 6.45 a.m. and go to 3.45 a.m. Eastern. So minus three hours. So that's 21 hours, Jean. 21 hours of streaming. Anyway, guys, if you don't have anything else to do and you want to hang out with us, <laughs> if you want to hang out with us on um, New Year's, it's always fun. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of blend a little bit of these elements in just so they look like they, they belong, right? <clears throat> like I want this to have more of a defined, not really a pyramid, but more rock crevice um, blend, you know, like it's all one. Mary starting this year. Oh, my gosh. Good for you, Jean. You suckered her. I mean... You asked politely if Mary would participate. <laughs> oh, I'm glad. Mary's awesome. That's awesome, Jean. So I guess I'll stream after Mary, right? Jean usually makes <laughs> Jean usually makes up a schedule, so we we get it all together eventually. <laughs> all right, so I'm just gonna kind of make sure. Everything's kind of cohesive here. And I'll add some white to that with the Posca. Let me go over here to this little guy here. Let's see. This almost looks like it could use a gear, a gear thing there. Pull out a couple of stamps, I think. And that orange needs to be knocked back just a little. It's too orange. There we go. That's better. Let's add some black on this edge.
I just want some of those details to stand out. Um, yeah, yeah, lots of places are close to that. Yeah, that's today's a federal holiday. Oh, y'all have Remembrance Day the same day we have Veterans Day, Jean, today? Although officially it's uh, the 11th, which was yesterday, but it's observed today. All right, guys, I got to kind of get crack a whack in here. We got to go. I got to go eat before I go to Janet's. All right. So I need some more uh, smoky detail, and I want to add these. Let me get my stays on ink. Uh, do I have a gear right here? I had some gears pulled out, you know, from the other day. But I might have pulled them back. Uh-oh. Dropping, dropping stamps. Hang on. What I do with that gear? I guess I put it back in the box. Hang on. <clears throat> Ah, there they are. There's one. There's a little one. Got another little gear. Where are you, little gear? Ugh. I don't know where the little gear went. And the other day. Well, I'll have to use the big gear. I have a small one, too, but I don't know. I can't find it. All right, so what I want to do... Mask this off. This is a uh, stays on permanent ink, so and I really just need half of it. So I want a little bit. Let's see what part shows up the best. I kind of want a gear edge going down. Oop, oh, that's too much. Mm. I have to knock that back. Mm. I don't know if I can do it with just a pat, pat. Oh, I got to show you all that poster, too. Okay. I don't want to get in too big a hurry. <clears throat> Um, yesterday, it was the beginning of the fifth season in Germany, always on November 11th. Okay. All right, guys. Let's see. Let me dry this. Get crack a lap in here on this end, little end right here. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want... Well, let me do the white first. I want this. Come around here. And then I want to white. I haven't done anything up in my sky. to be kind of a little bit of a glow here so like as I'm trying to I'm like hustling now here get her done get her done hi Mia
Hi, Sabrina. I'm sure I'm missing some people. Thanks, everybody. I'm trying to wrap this up. All right. <clears throat> Got my watch hands to do. I want to let me do this stamping first. Okay. So I'm just going to take some numbers here. Oh, I got to do 42. 42, Ian. I don't know if Ian's still here. Anyway, I'm going to take some random numbers. And they're just going to be kind of, oop, I'm going to be careful not to get the edge. I want random numbers around. I'm trying to be careful not to get the square edge. <clears throat> You'll see, I'm going off camera here. Get out of the post-it notes, children. They're just fascinated with those. I know it's the crunchy sound. <clears throat> You're welcome. Thanks for being here, Dawn. Hope you all enjoyed a little bit of uh, streamy. Um, Streamathon, not streamathon, stream anniversary. Oh, let's get a different number. I'm not different. We'll carry one over across the page. Can you hear her in those post-it notes? <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right, let me dry this. I'll put a little mist, a little more mist, and we'll go. Look, some, at some point during the day, look, I smeared my stars with my arm. <laughs> so let's fix that. If you want to fix your stars, all you have to do is take a black pencil here. If you smeared something, although I don't mind a shooting star here and there. So I'm just going to like get rid of those tails and just get rid of them a little. I don't mind a couple shooting stars. Like we can put one. Um I don't want um, I don't want too much action going on. Oh, good! I'm glad you liked it. I'm glad y'all had fun. Okay, now a uh, pencil or um, maybe a little bit more uh, baby blood. All right, so a little bit more mist. So mash that nice and into the hand here. Oh, thanks guys. All right. So now I don't want to cover up my number there. Just a little bit more mist going on. <clears throat> D is this old number stamp old number stamp it's these stamps right here this right here they're like in the, one of those dollar Michael stamp sets I think I think this number set came I'm not sure if it came with this 
but these are the numbers I'm using right there. All right, let's see. I think the cats are finally thinking, well, I guess she's not coming out right this minute, so we better just go ahead and get out of the room. <laughs> They're finally giving up right when I get done. Okay, so some of this... And these are the tiny little details that I like to play with that we always run out of time when <laughs> I want to finish. You know, this is always the thing. All right, do I want anything coming out of that door? I don't know. I'm kind of just liking it like this. If I let yours go outside, thank goodness they were. <laughs> yeah, see, I don't let mine go out. There's, it's not safe. It's not safe for them to go out. <clears throat> so this is the stuff that I like to keep subtle, but, you know, it's at the end when I'm usually rushing. And I don't want to rush... These subtle details. I think I need my finger on this right here. Like a silver lining. I'm fenced in and live downtown. They will be very few players. Oh, well, that's good. So y'all got any questions or anything before we go? I hope y'all have been enjoying celebrating with me today a little bit. I'll be celebrating the rest of the month. I don't know if I need any star shine or any glow. Let's see. What do I do my watch hands here? I'll decide where I want my watch hands to go. Thanks, 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 Eileen. Being with this, oh, it's a celebration. Oh, that's sweet, Lynn. Thank you, Lynn. It's so sweet. All right, and then this one, I want to come down to these clouds here. I really should use a ruler for this. I mean, I can draw straight, but sometimes my line of sight is not, it's not that straight. Pretty straight. Not exact, but I want it to come out right here. <clears throat> All right, let's soften up. 
hitting the cloud there. What Kimberly say? <laughs> Always remember the day I had to fight Jean for the Paul's dance. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Kimberly, that's awesome. <laughs> and it's so true. You did. You had to battle the post it note <laughs> from Jean. All right, guys, let me back out real quick just so that I can show y'all that poster. So, yeah, I think, wait, here, let me back out so you can see the whole thing. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right, let's move the book here. All right, guys, so here we go. There's our completed, almost completed page. Uh, it needs to be a little, there we go. So there's our completed page. Let me show you the, uh-oh, let me show you the poster I was talking about. And it is getting a little crunchy because it's just rolled up in a ball. I mean, rolled up in a scroll. <laughs> not, ro not rolled up in a ball. All righty. So, yeah, there's our finished page. I'll call it finished. It really could use a little bit more work, but I'm going to call that finished. We'll uh, we'll tweet it out to Kirian. He likes to see our completed pages. And then here's the poster I was talking about. I don't even know if I can show it to you under the camera. Actually, I think there's two of them here. All right. This one's a small. This one's a smaller of the two. I think it's about thirty by thirty. Let's move that paint. So it's the same process as I'm doing now, but it's just big. lot of a uh, lot of a lot of planets in this one <laughs> uh, so this was uh, this was quite this big poster here um, I when did I do this one I don't know a couple oh 2015 I did sign it that's 2015 and this one I never really completely completely finished it and I think this one's about a 30 by 60, 50. This one's even bigger. So I'll try to get the whole thing up under here. This is a big black scroll of paper. So it's really hard to get the whole thing under the camera there. So yeah, they're big. We did these. Uh, we did these a couple years ago. But I just have them rolled up in a scroll. All right, guys. Yeah, we'll bring it back down to this size, right? <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed it. Thanks, everybody, for playing along. Thanks, Jean, for being a good sport. Even though we both have poop. Jean, it's so funny because, you know, that just shows you the little bit of lag difference where I can have Kimberly saying Ernest before Jean, but Jean's 
chat showed her first, but it was just within a split second. So Jean, you almost got a coffee cup. Now, if you really want a coffee cup, Jean, I'll send you a coffee cup too. <laughs> uh, oh, all right, guys. I'm going to go get me a bowl of soup and a grilled cheese. Soup and a grilled cheese because it's a chilly day and rainy day. And that'll be perfect before Janet comes on. Janet comes on in about 30 minutes, guys. Um, Janet M. Young is her YouTube name. So she's going to make some art discs today. So that'll be that'll be fun. You're welcome. Thanks, everybody, for being here. And don't forget, it takes a, takes a little bit of time for the chat to fully load. I mean, the video to fully render with the ch full chat. So it might take, a, you know, an hour or so before it's fully up. Because it's uh, going on four hours now. So you're welcome, guys. All right. Y'all have a great Monday. Thanks so much. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Shauna. Bye.